God, you guys are flying, holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're gonna do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. Today, you must tattoo neon lights. Lights. So you know how hard that is. A neon light tattoo is showing the illusion of a glow on somebody's skin. So the only way you can make the illusion is having a heavy amount of black and a very light source of color. Anytime they can't blast color in, it's gonna hit our problems. Yeah, that's way harder than it sounds. Can we just do like a normal tattoo for once? Make it bulletproof because from here on out, somebody that you don't expect to go home will, I promise you. Play hard. All right, let's meet your canvases. Biomechanical skin rip with machine parts on my forearm. That's not easy, bro. All right, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Frank. I'm ready. Jordan. Right here. Angel. Hey. Biomech. I've never done biomech. I've never done neon. Bring it on. What else have I not done? I'm kind of excited, honestly, yeah. Five hours left, guys. Five hours remain. I had a funny feeling that I would be doing some biomech. I've never done biomech in my entire career, but the thing is, it's a light source challenge. All black and gray is, is light sourcing. And I think I might actually have an advantage here. Every time I got a tattoo, I bring a general idea and the artist just takes it from there. I think you end up getting way better art that way. Exactly. Thank you, Midwest, for this biomech tattoo because it actually gave me the perfect platform to shine today. I'm on my game 100%. Today, you are being tested on contrast with neon light tattoos. Let's see how you did. West, you're up first. Angel. Hey guys. The way that you create the glow on your piece is very nice. The brightest part, there's nothing there. You have solid black, bright color, open skin, and it shows contrast. Thank you. Thanks. Solid. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The first and only tattoo that jumps out as one cohesive, bright, strong, solid tattoo is Angel's for me. Angel had light sourcing wrapping around, shooting around. I mean, it's a well thought out plan. Hands down, no contest, Angel. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Yeah, girl. That's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Today, we have a very special guest judge. He's been known for doing big tattoos in one sitting, Richard Stell. Oh. I've been tattooing over 30 years. My specialty is American traditional tattooing. He is a tattooer in every essence of the word. He's the guy who taught me how to tattoo. Holy <laughs> this Richard Stale. This guy's a legend. Richard Stale's been doing this for almost as long as I've been alive. He's gonna be very, very critical. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, American traditional. 20 years ago when I started tattooing, what people consider traditional today was an everyday tattoo for us. Your tattoo may include any elements you like. However, it must include an eagle and a flag. Actually, having an eagle and a flag levels the playing field. Now, everybody has to deal with the same subject matter, so you'll be able to see their interpretation of American traditional. So, a soldier as an eagle in combat gear. Kay was being a bully when he gave me that tattoo. I think he's just a little scared that some 22-year-old is gonna spank him in one of these competitions. He gave me this for a reason. He's mad. He talked about everybody and I just don't take it. I'm used to it though. Got picked on my whole life, so. You should join the army. If we were in the 60s right now and you step off a boat and got a tattoo and then got back on and went in active <laughs> duty as a sailor, that's what I want your tattoo to look like. I started shading this thing and I just couldn't help but smile because I've never done it before and it's the most fun that I've ever had. It's like the coolest thing I've ever done. Just because it's traditional and simple doesn't mean it should be silly or cartoony. If you over fluff it and try to put too much detail in it, it just crowds it up and you end up with a block. Three, two, one. Time's up, machine's down, no more ink. The way you did it, man, it's, it's respectful, it's, it's, it's tight. By putting the snake and dagger in the tattoo, I'm trying to do kind of risky things that are a little bit different so that the judges go, wow. Nick thinks he knows everything, and he's just a young, stupid idiot. What the f is he doing with this blue? F this is old school, not new school, fool. 
This week we went old school and had you tattoo an American traditional design with an eagle and a flag, giving us similar elements to judge. We're testing you online. Nick, how'd you feel going into this? I've never had experience doing American traditional. Basically, I was a little worried, very nervous. And then I wanted that snake and dagger redemption. The design of this tattoo is killing me. The bottom of the flag has a square hook on it. The mouth that you did biting the snake, the way you did it just looks like it has no bottom jaw. And the snake head, no redemption today, zero redemption. There's nothing traditional about it. Doing like this is disrespectful. Sorry for being disrespectful. This is a tribute to traditional. It's not create your own day. For this elimination tattoo, you must put your fundamentals to the test by tattooing a clock. Oh no, a clock? No, oh, I hate clocks. Damn. There's always small, tight detail. There's perfect straight lines for the hands, concentric circles. It's just a technical nightmare. This thing is really starting to piss me off. I thought you had this. I thought you said you loved polka trash. I've never done trash polka. I've seen it on the internet. It looks like red and black. We're creating art, and that's the thing with polka trash, is it doesn't have to be solid tribal. That's no. Apparently, trash polka just isn't black and red. Loosen it up. Bring that gray right to it. Just make it as smooth as I'm feeling a lot of pressure because nobody thinks I can tattoo in this house. It's art, but it has to be balanced and it has to be done with a lot of intent. I need to pull off this tattoo so people know I came to play. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. Austin. Fundamentally challenged. Line work, design, saturation. I got an issue with the clock. Where's the two? The two's gone. Definitely would be there. Don't think it's the worst tattoo that's here. This tattoo is a mess. All right, guys, today we're testing fundamentals with clocks. The biggest miss on Austin's is not understanding composition. Him ending up with this tattoo was a bizarre choice. He was on the team where he could have said, hey, guys, I don't really know what that is. Give me a clock and rose. Bad strategic call. Yeah. So let's move on to the only team clean player that's down here, Austin. Man, a lot of fundamental mistakes in this tattoo. Composition and design, the way this thing is just so poorly thought out, you lost it. At least my tattoo's finished. Gonzo's, his isn't even close to finish. Is missing a two kind of unfinished? I mean, he's missing a two, for sure. You ain't got it, it ain't finished. This week, you had to survive a tattoo marathon. While each of you had high points in the marathon, all of you also had low points. However, in this competition, you must always be at the top of your game. Based on your work in the tattoo marathon, no one is safe. You will each have one more chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the finale. Awesome. This competition is about being the best in the room. And in order to win, you must first beat your opponents when they were at their best. For this final face-off, you must tattoo the same style and subject as one of your opponent's best tattoos from throughout the season. Wow. One by one, you will each decide which artist tattoo you'd like to go head to head with to prove you deserve a spot in the finale. Once a tattoo has been chosen, no one else can choose that tattoo. All right. All right, let's reveal the artist with the highest ranking from the marathon. That is me. Which tattoo do you pick? I'm going to choose Jake's Plague Doctor. It's a style I haven't really shown you guys yet. Like my bird thing. You did the same colors, you shithead. It's a traditional color palette. What do you want from me? It doesn't have to be. I have not done this style before. I might be taking a risk doing this. This is the end of the end. I mean, yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. Since day one in this competition, I've been taking risks. No matter what they throw at me, I'm gonna hit it out of the park. Today, you had one last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the finale. Let's see how you did. Women's team, let's start with you. Laura. 
you chose to go up against Jake's full color plague doctor. Laura definitely hits a lot of different details between the wood grain, the leather. I like how saturated the eye looks. I love this design. I love the work you do in the mask and the hat. A lot of rich contrast. With the highlights around the stitching, it does read as if it's leather. This thing is killer. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine the second artist who's earned their spot in the finale. I love what Laura did. I love all the details. I love all the textures. But at the bottom of that tattoo, I see some problems with saturation. It's hard to tell that that's a hand. Going against Jason's, the detail, this little weird dude playing with the space pizza, picking a planet out of it, is great. My final vote is for Laura. For tricks, textures, application, and overall, always creative. My final vote is for Laura. The judges have decided, Laura, you have earned the second spot in the finale. I'm just glad that you guys really saw just how hard I work. Congratulations. Thank you. This is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. To prove you deserve to stay in this competition, you must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin Freehand. What? That's crazy. You cannot use any stencils. This is the hardest thing to do in tattooing. There's no safety net with a freehand tattoo. I don't freehand on the skin, ever. For me, when it's perfect on paper, that's when it goes to the skin, and that's when I tattoo it. One little mistake, and I'm out of here. You must push your skills to the limit and expertly finesse your design so that it fits the flow of your canvas's body perfectly. The subject and style of your tattoo is completely up to you. Thanks. I love doing free-handed tattoos. I've done it a lot. This is my time to shine. Your canvases have been randomly assigned and are completely open. If you can't draw on the skin, you can't lay out a good tattoo, you can't be here. It's that easy. Please give us a hard decision. Please show us what you're good at. If you have a mental stencil, today's the day to break it out and use it. You're gonna need it. If an artist has never freehanded a tattoo before, there's definitely a big learning curve. You already did honey mask. What are you dumb to do? Whatever you wanna do, just do it. I'm thinking about doing a honey mask because I know I could draw it and tattoo it in six hours. They don't care if they just did a honey mask. I'm, why the f would you care? This is the last tattoo you do ever. Make this the one you want to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a huge risk with this tattoo. Team DJ just did it. But I know I could do a honey mask. I could keep up with DJs. He can tattoo. It's just his design sometimes is questionable. Yeah. And he'll have to figure that out. He was just picking something that, I mean, it was just done. Well, the funny part is you got two guys that are technically really good at tattooing. And the designs suffer a little bit. And two people can really design, and yeah, their technical suffers a little bit. So who's going to... I'll do who? Well, you nailed it. It looks like a stencil, straight oh, up. Thank you so much. What a surprise. Deanna did a lady face and a rose. Again, show us something different. With this tattoo, I'm showing that I do every style known to man. It looks exactly how I drew it. The color's bright, the line work is bold. There's no way I'm going home. You faced off by freehanding your design directly onto the skin. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Jeremy. How did you feel about getting this challenge today? I'm very limited to what I can really draw like on the spot. It usually takes me a day or two to draw something perfect. So this is something I could draw that was easier for me to actually pull off a tattoo that's finished. There's a lot of things going on here. Instead of making it a long, slender face, it's really short and really wide. But what's throwing me here is the way you choose to color this thing. You put the yellow as the light source, but the light source is everywhere, but then the front of the face isn't yellow. This is a low rider panel paint job. You got red stripes and red panels and yellow stripes and yellow panels. I don't really like the color placements. Just the fact you don't count the bottom teeth in between the canines, that's just mind blowing to me to have seven teeth. But they're all straight. Yeah, straight to the garbage. That's where those go. I give him credit for going for it. You could play safe day, but he really swung for it and obviously missed a little bit here, but he's got a fight in him, you know? People don't think he's fighting because he's quiet and he keeps to himself, but the dude's fighting. All right, guys, it is time to determine who's going home. 
I'm seeing the problems that you guys have with Jeremy's tattoo, but also as a canvas, if I got a shark that was all out of whack, I'd be a little bummed out about it. Rolly's black and gray, Rolly's line work. I think technically Rolly is stronger. But for me, if we go to Jeremy's, the problems I have are light source, construction, composition. It's a complete miss for that, Jeremy. My vote's for Jeremy. The judges have decided, Jeremy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Man, I think this is a tough competition no matter how you look at it. It's been a great learning experience, and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to come here, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. For your elimination tattoo, you'll be using your color skills to create an American traditional tattoo. This style became popular during the turn of the 18th century by sailors who would frequent the tattoo shops. With American traditional, it's very simplified and like the line works very big and the shading's very dark. These pieces used to be done with very little color, but over the years, the American traditional tattoo has evolved into a technicolor style all its own. A great American traditional tattoo should have a lot of black, very clean outlines, bright colors with a limited palette. This is all I was able to tattoo for the first year of my career. But I'm gonna be good at this. When they say traditional tattoo, I have to do like a single bold line, like four colors, like very simple, you know what I mean? I'm really bummed right now. Being that American traditional tattoos were done with five or six colors only, ultimately I feel that it's a cop out. Super simple. Which is like the hardest thing for me. I make, I make tattoos as complex as I can make them. I've spent a lot of years working on color blends and this is really taking things backwards. This is your first American traditional tattoo? This is the first. This is definitely out of my own. But with like a good solid tattoo foundation, anyone who could tattoo the right way should be able to do traditional. I was able to use traditional style subject matter. That's really all I can do, and I'm sticking to it. Your job was to do an American traditional tattoo. We will be judging you on color and how well you stuck to the American traditional style. Billy. This was your actual first American traditional. I fought it all night. Going in with the very limited palette is not something I've really ever done. The outline is kind of weak. Traditional tattooing, generally a really strong outline is pretty important. This is a fine line tattoo, it looks like to me. There is nothing bold about this. The only thing bold about it is the blanket solid sea of red that you might as well just color his whole leg red. The lettering looks very stiff inside that banner. The butt we almost looks like one word to me. I disagree. Lettering and tattooing is so important. I mean, that's the message of this tattoo. There's no traditional tattoo that has opaque gray and a wing. There's no opaque gray. Well, what is that stuff? I used brown, black, blue, red. Well, what's, in the, what's in between the black in the middle and the long part of the wing? That's brown. That's brown? That's brown. That's straight brown. Whatever it is, it's straight wrong. You were born at 555? Personally, I think that's pretty egotistical to put the time of your birth into someone else's tattoo. And saying that in front of the client, if I overheard someone in my shop telling their client that, oh, by the way, like the time that I put on here is the time that I was born, I didn't even run it by you first, I'd say pack your shit after you finish that tattoo. You guys are here in the bottom two. Judges have gone back and forth on a number of different issues. Billy, you didn't do a traditional tattoo. This is the most disappointing tattoo of the day. This is your first traditional tattoo, man. I feel like you still haven't really done one. I really tried to come halfway with this. I still got a bunch of black in, but you know, I gotta stick to that. There's no soul to this tattoo. To start with the lines, it could be improved if you just went back in and bolded it out. Going in with the very limited palette is not something I've really ever done. It's a traditional tattoo that has balls and you cut the balls off the tattoo. The judges have made a decision. Billy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and go. Today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head style battle, regardless of region. Damn. Oh. 
I don't want to face off against you guys. There are 10 artists remaining, and there will be five different head-to-head -head face offs, each in a completely different style. Okay. East. You're next. Jimmy, which style do you choose? This is my chance to take someone out from the West. American tradition. No way. How does he keep getting away with this? I don't know why he continues to do this. If I were Jimmy, it would be worth it for me to pick something else just for the sake of shutting the rest of us up. That means, Hiram, you'll face off against Jimmy tattooing American traditional. Nobody wants to face Jimmy in American traditional. That's the only thing that that mother does. And this is gonna be my first traditional tattoo ever. I'm Jimmy. What's up, Papa? What kind of brown will you use? I have like four different ones. You open my drawer? Yep. That's the one I always use. Can I take this one? Yeah, take it. Jimmy is actually giving me advice. I believe he feels bad for me. He's just looking at me like, ah, you're so cute for trying. I'm a shark. And if I smell blood, I'm coming for it. That's the dude I'm going against. OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's commendable. I see you. Fair and square. Yeah, fair is fair. I may be taking a risk here with helping Hiram, but I don't care. No matter what happens, Hiram's not going to win. It is my style. There's no way in hell I'm going to be in the bottom. Here we go, dude. There you go. All right, today the artists are facing off in a head-to-head -head style battle, and we're judging these things blind. I know I'm in trouble, but that's obvious. Let's see how they did. All right, here we go. This is Jimmy Snass. Jimmy's black shading, how he whips out, is definitely in this tattoo. I don't mean any offense to anybody, but I don't know if this is Jimmy. The red all the way around the exterior petals is completely holidayed. If this is Jimmy, something's up. It can be nerve-wracking doing your own style. Moving on to the second tattoo. That was mine. It is a style battle, and this drawing is the staple. The little white highlights on the edge of the green leaves, nice. Edge of the flower that's white with the red faded out, nice. But anywhere in this tattoo, the black is not as dark as the outline. Might have got me, Hiram. We'll see. Jimmy and Hiram, you faced off tattooing American traditional. Let's see who won this style battle. I did that one. Wow. Nobody outshined anybody in one section, and nothing screams American traditional more than an eagle. I didn't want to just go with a typical thing. Today, since it's a style battle, you want to really capture that style. Congratulations. Hiram, you are safe from elimination. I don't know how I helped you out today. You're going to have to help me. Have a seat. Clean and Aaron. As a veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in their honor, you will all be judged on precision. And I'll bet you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Just say it. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yeah. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm going to be pissed. We're seeing the job, baby. We're yeah. seeing the job. A facial feature even a millimeter off could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Of course. That's crazy. Two days before we came here, Doom let me in on a little secret, which was that he has never done a portrait before. This might be the day we go home. Every portrait's difficult in its own way. Everybody's skin's different. Being that you have to do the same portrait on two different people, that's super hard. The key with this, I think, is communication. Get a game plan in your mind. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? You guys got your work cut out for you. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Yeah. Portraits are already a challenging job, but the kicker here is they both have to match. Let me see. It looks a little big. Yeah, on her, right? There's definitely gaps in some of these teams. Pretty much going to be close to this actual size. Maybe okay. up here. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see once see. we draw it out. For people that are not as strong as their teammate, that's a storm. I know you sit on the line that you wanted color. Yes. If we can't talk them down to at least a black and gray picture of her face, we're going home for sure. To get all the details and everything and, wow. and face. Yeah, have it really look like you if we focus on your face so it's bigger. All these details are going to be much more open and it's going to last better over time. I'm flexible with it. He is as awesome. Those are the words I love to hear. <laughs> I'm kindness heart. 
her portrait. It's phenomenal. It's the one. But if he doesn't step it up to her level, yeah, they can lose. What's up, Dan? God, you guys are flying. Holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're going to do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. Final hour, one hour to go. Oh, I just really need you to relax your shoulders. The more tense you are, the worse it's going to be for both of us. So. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing mechanical bull. This is like 30 seconds work. Oh. We're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, matching portraits, unkindness art. The divide is monstrous between these two tattoos. Well, Aaron, technically, very smooth, very professionally done. Kitten, no sugar coating this tattoo, man. It's beat. The hair is just messy. There's scratchy lines that you can still see through where the black is. And the areas where you're supposed to have soft details, nose, eyes, lips, chin, neck, it's just rough. This is my first portrait. That's part of being an ink master. You got to be able to do everything. Float is a ship or sink is a ship. Today, you're sinking. We're here as the jury of peers to determine which shot will be put up for elimination. I would just say unkindness. It shouldn't be on the bottom. Aaron's was so good. Coming to a competition and not even practicing a portrait, that's just ballsy. But I felt like I tried my hardest. It essentially is the Achilles heel, like, mm -hmm. All right, you could cough and say stupid things like bull Yeah, but your heel should have been all you were practicing then. for about two and a half years. I am still in the honeymoon phase of tattooing. With inexperience comes drive, passion. These guys have been doing it for 15 years. They don't have that like new, loving feeling about it. That gives me such an edge against them. I'm gonna go beat all their asses and they're not gonna see it coming. <laughs> I think the composition is good. Now I'm just gonna pull it off. I'm really worried about Angel because this tattoo is just so far out of her wheelhouse. It's going to be mostly black. Like, I hope he knows that. Yeah. She just doesn't have the experience to learn on the fly like you have to for a piece like this. I'd put heavy blacks in that so that his brights do pop. Headache today. It's fine. Today, we're testing dimension with nature scapes. Yeah, dude, I'm into that. I'm going to have the steer coming out, show perspective. Show me foreground, show me background, show me perspective, dimension, things that will make a nature scape come to life. This competition isn't safe. There's gonna be a point where you're doing something that you're not comfortable with, and I came here to do that exactly. I am one of the most ambitious people I know. Ever since I was a kid, if I put my mind to something, I had to be the best at it. You knew they were gonna come at you today but I think it might be my favorite drawing. The naturescape thing is <laughs> maybe getting away from us, but... You're still showing more dimension. Angel's my number one draft pick. She's not here to play it safe. She's here to win. Thanks, Christian, for believing in me. Why wouldn't I? Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Today, you had to show Dimension tattooing a nature scape. Angel. There's very little nature in here. I don't see a lot of Dimension. The fact that you have little sharks at the top of this thing doesn't really make me think that there's multiple layers to this piece. There's zero relationship between the octopus and the ship. No foreground, nothing to tie any sort of depth in other than this ray of light, which a lot of people are going to just wonder what the hell that is. A lot of problems with this tattoo. 
I would just feel bad not sending angels to the bottom because it is clearly the worst tattoo. It doesn't hit any of the challenge. No, it doesn't. What's up with the octopus? Is it fighting a silhouette ship or is it just in front of it? The octopus is floating. There's no depth, no separation in the planes. There's no nature scape. It's not even applied well either. Yeah, I mean, we sent out a skull pick to shoot her down and we hit it. I feel like she is my saving grace because she doesn't have a nature scape. I agree. I agree with that too. The tattooing in the octopus itself is bad. Most people that glance at this, they don't know it's underwater. Is they all feel like that's the sky with the sun rays. One of you will be packing your machines. Clean, why did your team vote Angel to the bottom? We felt like her tattoo lacked the most fundamentals and that it was unfinished. I just have a question. Yeah. Is it finished? You know, this is actually what I was planning to do. Is it finished? All the elements that she said she was going to put into it are there. Is the tattoo finished? Does nobody want to own up to it not being finished? Everybody knows it's unfinished. I will say that parts of it are unfinished. Would you say that the octopus by itself is finished? I would like to see the suction cups colored. The octopus, the red in this thing, is not solid. And the shading off the top of the black part of the ship is all choppy and not smooth anywhere in it. The technical application on this tattoo is far from good and it should be dead solid. At least I know that that's a ship. I look at Jimmy's and there's a lot of question as to whether or not that's even water. You can't say that those are mountains and trees in the background and leaves Yeah, in the you front. can. The mountains are blue and the water is orange, well, which is just a choice. bad call. I'm not gonna bull you guys. I deserve to be in the bottom for this tattoo, but I got more done in four hours than either of them did in six. But the decisions that you made in four hours are what you're here for. He showed this nature scape and maybe finish this tattoo. I mean, my tattoo shows issues, but it shows experience. I don't think Angel could have done that tattoo on her best day. You can't draw a wolf and a forest man. You can't draw a background. That ship is just cutting paste. I can draw taste. a background. Come on. Mother I will draw backgrounds around you Guys, all day. Guys, we gotta, we gotta make a decision here. Final decision. Angel. The judges have decided, Angel. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's blood, sweat, and tears in this thing, and I think that you've really, really excelled to a place where in two and a half more years, you're a threat, no doubt. I love you to death and kills me. Please pack your machines and close shop. I have so much less experience than anyone in here, so the fact that I came here and I competed fiercely up until this point is a huge accomplishment for me. I did so much better than I even could have guessed. For the elimination tattoo today, we are looking for the cleanest, most solid, fundamental, quality tattoos. I think that's gonna fit sick. Yeah. These canvases are sensitive because they're first timers, they're virgins. That's the gray area. Because some of the tattoos these clients want are a nightmare. If you feel like you're gonna throw up or anything like that, we've got some water, get some food in you, and you'll you be good. You got a bucket in here? We got a trash can. All right, all right. <laughs> Stay calm, keep breathing, man. Are you nervous? Oh, super nervous. Super nervous? Yes. Oh, great. Well, you know what, so am I. <laughs> My tattoo looks awesome. It's strong, it's bold, it has big balls. K Cutter is obviously not a very proficient tattooer. He is definitely showing that he's struggling. The tattoo's rough, it doesn't have a black outline on it. That's gonna definitely land him in some So good. I definitely did not come to window shop for the title. I came to ring it up and throw that in the back. K Cutter. How do you feel about this piece? I like what I did for him, man. I changed his life and he changed mine. I mean, I feel good about it. Up top in the crown, there's just a few strong black outlines that stand out, and then most of it has no outline at all. I don't do much outline. There is a few outlines on this tattoo that show me that you had an outline needle and used it. And with my art, I do a lot of random stuff. This challenge is the fundamentals. I had to do something that, that has some big swinging nuts. It just seems like you have fear to run a black outline. You can't come here and compete scared to do an outline. This is day one, and this is the beginning. As we move on, it gets harder. So if we can't move past this, where do we move to? You know, what's gonna look cool is the fact that you got all like these dark colors up here. When you do the red, that's gonna stick out like neon. That is the plan, my friend. <laughs> okay, this guy's all red, so I'm not gonna do his whole body. I'm gonna do like the upper part. I'm gonna have the Death Star ship in the background with the lights and the atmosphere to create that contrast. Without it, I'm Red is a hard color to pack. 
Now I think I know why Clint gave it to you. Would you piss him off? Kay's gonna screw himself over. I don't need to help him out on that. I mean, he gave me a big red guy, man. There's not a tattoo up there that he would've been like, oh, thanks so much for giving me that. I think I might be biting off more than I can chew, but if I don't do one of my best tattoos I've done, it's gonna be a battle for the bottom between me and Mark. Okay. How do you feel about the canvas that Clint assigned you? For what it is, my guy loved it. He spent more time than I've been alive dressing up as these guys. What I mostly didn't like is he's all red, so I gotta put something behind him. You could have showed these wrinkles and this cloth to look like fabric, to give that contrast, to make this thing look real. Doesn't have drapery feel. Looks like he's wearing lunch meat. That's one way to look at it, but one thing I do want to add is that these guys, they do one thing. They stand there. That's pretty much it. They have a little more detail than your tattoo does. Two of you impressed us, and two of you did not. Okay, you're struggling. You're not able to show the contrast you need to show because the images that you're picking, you're not being able to convey to the skin. I respect your opinion, don't get me wrong, but I've been counted out for dead before, so I gotta say that. Let me say something to you, man. You've got three years. All you're lacking is simple technique. You need that guidance. My ambition is what got me standing here. And though my skill level don't really match my ambition at times, I know I can adjust. The judges have decided. Okay. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think you're leaving here today a much better tattooer. I appreciate you guys, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Even when I'm at the bottom, I'm looking up. I'm not looking down. I'm damn near a born loser, but I keep winning. Luckily for me, that's what I'm used to. It's not gonna hinder me from fighting harder. Y'all ain't seen the last of me. I'm K Cutter, damn it. These teammates are all gonna have to come up with a game plan quick and make this happen. What do you think? The handle looks straight. Oh my God, the handle is straight, dude. Tim, let him redraw the handle. He thinks it's crooked. Stop. All right. <laughs> That's right. I think it looks fine, man. It's right. fine. I just want to make sure, man. They don't know each other. All artists have egos, so it'll be interesting to see who can be a designated leader and who's going to submit to following. We need to get started, y'all. I know. I know. This area is not my favorite to tattoo. It's actually totally fine, just so long as we don't jump up. I'm definitely freaking out. I've only been tattooing for three years, but a lot of these people have been tattooing longer than I've been alive. So I'm hoping that I can just keep up. We gotta do this one at a time, you guys. There's, this tattoo's way too small for it. I think then what we should do, get those eyes in as good as you can, and then swap out. Mm -hmm. Today was your first opportunity as a team to strike fear into the heart of your opponents. Let's take a look at the women's tattoos. We asked you to do three tattoos that represented your team. How did these do that? The three images we chose represent what we are as women, a warrior, Mother Earth, and we have the temptress. Sexy. <laughs> and she holds the heart of many in her hands. The face of this tattoo is where you guys have your shining moments. There's a light and this illumination. The problem is that that's what I want to see throughout the piece. Where you lose me is in the hands, in the heart, because you just have this tonal value that goes through. The eyesore of this thing is that weird finger poking out through the middle of it. Any little thing can pull you down. It's a bummer. I have come up with about 45 different designs for this tattoo. They gave me biomechanical. It's gonna be a lot of cool colors on the outside, and then we're gonna have this big, like, fireball. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I studied the best I could from great artists, but I have to just do it the way I would do it. That's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff back there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. This is crazy. I'm doing my first biomechanical tattoo, and I'm doing my first large back piece on the biggest stage for tattoo artists. The pressure is on. No way. Because who else would this happen to, right? Power lines are coming down on the bike path. Power lines coming down? The whole entire town of Warren just lost power because a tree went over a power line. My lord. <laughs> Power. Got it. It's on. 
We have light. I'm so glad that you have a truck that has a plug in it. Our own little personal generator. It's pretty sweet. Be gentle, huh? I'll do what I can. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I feel like 10 million pounds have just been lifted off my shoulders. First biomechanical tattoo ever. Danny, come on up. The big thing about these kind of tattoos is you want to feel like it's not a part of the body. And you really capture that layer upon layer upon layer, texture upon texture, light reflecting off of every source, great color blending, great color saturation, rich solid blacks. It's just negative skin. The way you put all that color around makes it look completely different than what his skin really is. And you really achieve what we're looking for in this style tattoo. It's pretty dazzling. Danny, thank you. Thank you. I got to say, for me, just swinging out of the park on this biomechanical piece, Danny, you got my vote. Wow. And it's on you, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My vote is for Laura. The judges have decided, Laura, you do have what it takes to be an interesser. I walked in this room and I already recognized people. Brian Critique is a huge, huge advantage to me because I know I can smoke this tattoo and they're never going to know that it was done by a weird homeschool kid, only been tattooing three and a half years. This is my chance to do a cool tattoo and really impress them. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a maze. And your time starts now. Don't look right now, but Garrett's line work is not as waggling. Find your worst line, drop shadow from that point on. This is a line challenge, and this thing's got to be bulletproof. Just gotta make sure every line meets up. There are people here who are doing like five lines when I'm doing 500. You have the longest line work in the room right now. Okay. Fix it now. I understand why Steve's doing what he's doing, but it's only making me freak out more. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more in. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a maze. Team Steve, you're up first. Let's start with Garrett. This one, it looks like a struggle. A lot of areas where your outlines just get carried away. I've been super nervous since I got here, so I think that's really showing. A lot of areas where you went and you built up. Once you build up one or two times, three or four is going to cut them. You got a lot of divots. In my defense, I did have the most line intensive piece in the room. Well, you did draw it, so you gave it to yourself. That's true. I. Yeah. You're fighting yourself a lot on this tattoo, and it shows in the end. All right, guys, we're here so we can determine which artist to put up for elimination. It's fair to say Garrett had a rough outing. There is not one line similar to the next. I walked over there, his lines are wonky, and I just said, man, you got to fix them. And he might have went back just too many times. That's how you get cuts, building too much, overworking. Too much trauma. Garrett probably has the worst application. Building up a lot of these lines, he overworked the skin. This tattoo is not going to heal well. Today, you had to tattoo a maze. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's hear from the coaches. Why did you vote Garrett to the bottom? Breaking it down to fundamentals. That type of damage to the skin, that's just a deal breaker. I had a bunch of hiccups today. I guarantee that's not going to happen again. I'm going to get my nerves under control. I have that technical stuff down 100%. It's not about what you can do. It's about what you did. But you know, on paper, I'm a much stronger artist than the majority of the people here. And I think my tattoo is way prettier than theirs. I could have totally put black all the way up against my lines, like in Deanna's. I just chose not to. If I get another chance, you'll never see another blow off from me. And I can guarantee that. The best design on paper is Garrett's. I'm forever going to be the cut judge. If you cut, you go. So my vote's for Garrett to go home. My vote's for Amanda. My vote's for Garrett. The judges have decided, Garrett, you do not have what it takes to be an ink master. 
I just think you guys are making a mistake. You got the chops, man. Unfortunately, just one little mistake here or there. Send you home, come back 10 times stronger, and kick some ass. All right, Garrett, please pack your machines and close shop. You know, draw 95% of the people upstairs, and nobody got to see that. Uh, I just think they made their own decision. The one thing that made me want to combat my doubts of putting myself out there was my artwork. I, mean, I didn't get to show them anything. I just really thought I would do better. I'm terrified because I've only been tattooing now for four years, which is definitely not a long time. Each finalist also had to tattoo a 24-hour chess piece in the style and subject assigned by the opposing team. Ryan, you are up first. Let's see how your master canvas went. Ryan, I would love to see dueling hot rods, big, chunky 90s new school. That is everything I have ever hated. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is your new chest piece. Cool, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I have a lot more to prove. Are you ready? New School was the one challenge that everyone else in the finale did that I didn't do. You gotta breathe, okay? It's literally the opposite of my style. Vibrant, bright color, thick, chunky lines. I don't do anything like that. You got this. This really is the tattoo that's going to make it or break it for me. 11 minutes. I've made it this far because I have busted my ass. I deserve to be the first female ink master. All right, it is the moment of truth, Ryan. Please reveal your master canvas. Ready? Hi, Ryan. Tell us about this. Well, um, Kelly assigned me 90s New School um, because it's the opposite of what I normally do. And uh, I feel like she assigned it to me because uh, she basically wanted me to prove that if I deserve the Ink Master title, I should be able to, you know, tackle any style and handle any challenge that was thrown at me. So um, I think, you know, this challenge was the opposite of what I've been expected to do. And I, you know, did it as, as true to the challenge as I could. Um, I trained with uh, coil machines for a few weeks before I attempted it. Um, I started using steel tubes, um, and I practiced before I even attempted it, and uh, the artwork took me a very long time. Um, okay. I mean, aside from just uh, Brian, having I gotta to... move it along. I gotta move it along. This was one tough challenge for you especially. I mean, this style is something that you weren't even tattooing when this style was prevalent. I remember the 90s. I remember tattooing at tattoo conventions with Clean Rock when he was doing all this stuff. And I mean, this, this is it. You could go, this is a time machine tattoo right here. You know, you go back. Chris, your thoughts? Well, you know, this tattoo, it really, it does exude 90s. It does have that really 90s feel. I also, this is my 25th year tattooing. I grew up on this. So looking at this artwork, the outline quality, the color quality, the color palette and play, it really sets off a strong 90s presence. What for me really hits it is the use of the chrome because we were really chrome babies in the 90s. We would make anything chrome and you captured that look in this 90s feel tattoo. I think you did a great job. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. Good luck. All right, Chris, final decision, buddy. I think for fans of the show and people that first look at first glance of what the two tattoos are, people recognize what Gian did. Gian. Wow. I knew it, man. First of all, let me say all three of you guys killed it this season. 
I love all three of you guys. Ryan, love the tattoo. Gian, knocked it out of the park, man. But in terms of just being an overall dynamic piece that just has that wow factor, I'm going with Ryan. running into a huge obstacle right now. I'm a perfectionist, and that's really killing my time. As I see artists leaving, I'm starting to worry a bit. Oh, 15 minutes remaining. I wasted way too much time drawing. Now I'm getting a little nervous. I have been an athlete my whole life. I play college basketball. Every sport you can think of, they all have the same fundamentals. Without discipline, you have no direction. I'm a self-taught tattoo artist, and I've been tattooing for five years. I'm here to prove to all those who turned me down for an apprenticeship, not only am I a great artist, I'm the next ink master. Artists, it is now time to critique your work. Anthony. The execution you did in the drawing would not lead me to believe that this is what you would be working towards. So what you did get done is much better than what I would have imagined was coming. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a black and gray Seven Deadly Sins tattoo using only shaders. And your time starts now. I'm not going to create any hard edges on this thing. I've only been tattooing for five years. It's a lot on the line. It's just kind of overwhelming. If you're good at what you do, it won't be a problem. I definitely think the judges are going to underestimate me. I have to do whatever it takes to show that I'm just as good as these veterans. Three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. St. Mark challenged you to take on his specialty, black and gray tattoos using only shaders. Anthony. The shading in this tattoo is great. Look at the areas of saturated black that still make those silhouettes breathable. And then the backlight to where the demon behind it is a little bit softer. That's a great use of light and showing a really dark image, but still letting it breathe. Going to fundamentals, it shows a lot of different techniques that you have under your belt. Thank you. Everybody underestimated me because I've only been tattooing for five years. I have to prove to everyone that getting to the finale wasn't just a fluke. I came up with the dragon. Whoa. This is one of the things that I struggle with during the competition. Let's win this. I'm pushing myself with my Japanese piece because I'm going huge. You will each be assigned two master canvases. For your second master canvas, you must tattoo a sleeve. The subject and style of the sleeve are completely up to you. No matter how smooth I do a black and gray sleeve, it's not gonna stand up against Clean's sticker that he's gonna produce on somebody's arm or Christian's buttery smooth black and gray. I have to do color. This is not my wheelhouse. America has already awarded Anthony a spot in the top two. And the eliminated artist jury is deliberating right now on which artist deserves to join him. Let's bring out your master canvases. Now, Anthony, come on down. Tell us about this, man. What do you got, bud? Anthony, this is happening now. What do you got? So going up against these guys, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't slack. You know, I really had to be strategic, competitive. I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom. The wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season, observing everything and planning my attacks. Wow. Anthony, I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells. That woman's face is beautiful and the markings, the space that you have behind her head and the markings on her face really work and they're really beautiful. The hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow. Wow. Man, this is a tough one. Based on, based on the two tattoos, I'm leaning towards Anthony. Wow. Four tattoos are killer. All four of them are killer. Anthony, you didn't finish the chest, and you didn't sleeve out the sleeve. And those are technicalities, and we critiqued clean on those very technicalities because he didn't do photorealism for his final piece. I got to go with Clean Rock One. 
guy to do it, man. What Anthony did in his sleeve, I think is not, something that not a lot of people could do. I gotta go for Anthony. The judges have decided, Anthony, you do Historically, the art of tattooing has been passed down by dedicated masters teaching apprentices everything they know. Each of you is coming into this competition with either your master or your former apprentice. You want to beat the person who taught you. You want to take everything that they've taught you and surpass them. What are we doing? Well, new school, of course. To rock the out of a tattoo, new school would definitely be our safest bet. My relationship with Earl is we push each other to make each other better. I like doing new school, traditional, and realism, smashing them together because it makes something different, unique, special. Every known color. Jesus, bro. I'm a color master, what do you expect? I'm mostly known for surrealism. I love everything that's strange and unusual. It's just more fun to me. I took Dave from a good artist to an amazing artist. I've created a monster, and he's my competition. Be like taking candy from a baby. I think we're doing a cool skull. What's the we're gonna do it in? A new school black and gray. I'm back to prove anyone that has any doubts about my black and gray totally wrong. If you can't do black and gray, you can't be Ink Master. It's your Achilles heel. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. My skull versus your skull. Black and gray. We're battling right now, bro. Tattoo battles. When I first met Chris, I was working at some the whole shop in Boca. He was just like, come under my wing so I can teach you how to tattoo better. I do mostly neo-traditional, some realism. Chris does color portraits, and that's all he does all day back home. So that totally gives me an advantage over him. Got all some asses. My ass is in gear. The style of tattoos that I'm known for is realism with a lot of color saturation. Todd used to work in my shop, and I had to let him go. He's still just a little kid inside. If he's not focused on tattooing, then he's just wild and crazy Tyler. Being a Marine, I demand discipline out of my guys. Head to head, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to be Tyler in every tattoo. If it came down to physical battle, Chris would kick my ass <laughs> real fast. Oh, you're rolling too. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Katie and I are working as a team. We constantly try to help each other out. That's what we're used to doing day to day. Oh, I'm gonna get you like that. I do lots of illustrative work, I do realism, and I do them all very well. You don't want to employ people that aren't good enough to tattoo you, so I've got a really rad Katie tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> My specialty would be bold, traditional inspired tattoos. It's not a matter of beating my master, it's a matter of winning the competition. A female tattooer needs to own this and win it, and I'm that one. It is out of control how awesome your tattoo is. <laughs> For your first tattoo, you're being judged on overall ability. Each of you went head to head with your master or apprentice. One of you will win and one of you will lose. This is a blind critique. The judges have no idea who tattooed which tattoo. Miami and Craig, let's start with you. New school black and gray. Let's talk about tattoo number one. Looking at this tattoo overall, there's a lot of heavy, clean lines and a lot of smooth gray shading. I like the way that whoever did this was able to pull off some different sized lines. Overall, aesthetically, it's cool, it's strong, it's bold. Let's move on to tattoo number two. This tattoo is very big, very striking, but once you get into it and look real close, it's pretty rough. The black shading that comes off the back of the skull underneath the hair, it's just like that back of the arm just didn't get paid attention to. Let's debate a win here. Based on everything from line work to shading to solid black, I have to go with number one. I'd have to go with number one as well. Unanimous, number one. Who did number one? I did. Craig. I did. And here you've come back, first tattoo out the gate, black and gray, beat the master. Matt and Katie, neo-traditional bird and flower. Let's start with tattoo number one. The black's really strong, the outline looks great, the color palette really works for this design. Let's look at tattoo number two. I like the overall layout, big, tough claws. It's a big tattoo. If it wasn't this big, you could have got a little more detailed out, and the owl itself could have been stronger. Let's debate a win here. 
how strong and vivid number one looks, I'm going with number one. I'm gonna go with number one as well. Number one? Who did tattoo number one? I did. Well done. Earl and Dave. New school, stylized realism, tattoo number one. This tattoo has some very, very clean line work, some very, very smooth shading. But as far as designing it, I don't like the shape of the skull. No real big wow factor to this tattoo. Tattoo number two. This tattoo is very, very messy. Wall to wall, color on top of color. You have the brown focal point of the skull, but then your eyes just go crazy trying to make any sense of what's going on. All right, guys, who has the win? Simply based on application, I would say number one. In terms of readability and cleanliness, I have to go with number one. Apprentice Dave just won. How does that feel? Good and at the same time. Actually, a lot of the color theory that's making me known, I learned from him. Chris and Tyler, traditional and realism. Let's start with tattoo number one. There's no consistent two lines side by side. The lines are so thick and thin and so erratic, but with a very weak outline in comparison to the very heavy rose outline on the outside of the rose. There has to be some kind of cohesiveness. Tattoo number two. Man, this tattoo stands out. It's very sharp. The outline is very deliberate, very crisp. The black in the background bringing forward the color really helps out. The shading of the skull is a nice, smooth blend. The cleanliness of the outline on tattoo number two is so much stronger than tattoo number one. I got to go with tattoo number two. Tattoo number two as well. That's, That's you, me. Tyler? Yep. And you are the apprentice. Yes, sir. Chris, how do you feel about this? It's all right. Give him the win on the line work. That's what you want. This week, you had one more chance to battle your master or apprentice head to head to prove which of you is the best. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Lose, and you could be eliminated. Miami, you went head to head with Craig. I don't like it. This is basically new school. The horseshoe's rounded, it's balloony, it's cartoony, packed wall to wall, solid color. There's really no contrast. 10, 11 feet back, I don't know if I can tell what this was. Craig. You did a cute new school tattoo, but it's wrong. Baby blue, neon green, it's insane. I'm a new school tattoo artist. It's a fight. Your brain wants to do wall to wall color. All right, judges, let's debate a win between Miami and Craig. I got problems with both these tattoos, but they're the same problems. I'm going with Craig. Keyword today is legibility. My vote is for Craig. Me too. Craig, you have won the head-to-head -head competition. Earl, you went head-to-head -head with Dave. I don't understand what's happening with the snake. There's no belly, there's no belly scales, there's no teeth. I totally did not put teeth in it. I think it's pretty up. They obviously have belly scales. And if you're going to turn and twist, at some point, you're going to see the belly scale. You look shook. I am. This one got you. Dave. Aesthetically, I wish you would have put a little more time into this drawing to make it more interesting. Your whip shading, where you take the black and pepper it out into nothing. Looks strong. It's some of the strongest whip shading we've seen. Very much on point. Yep. There's really not much debate for me on this one at all. It's a rattlesnake. Ain't got no teeth, man. Y'all like beating a dead horse, man. Give him the lesson that he needs to be told, and then move on. Well, let me explain one thing to you. What you just got 30 seconds of, this is what it was for us as apprentices. I got slapped out of the chair. I got called everything under the sun. I wouldn't change the way I grew up for anything. This is my friend here. He gave me lessons that I needed to evolve, and it's tough seeing somebody that you care about getting bashed like that. I'm going with Dave. 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 You'll have six hours to create a stained glass tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Yeah, lighthouse, right? Oh, yeah. With stained glass tattoos, strong black outlines are going to be a 100% necessity and will add to the contrast. Because it's stained glass, it's more geometric. If these artists don't depict the proper contrast, it just feels more like color by numbers. You good at color tattoos? Yes, sir. I do like how you're doing that. That's crazy. You want a cross, right? Yeah. I'm just wondering what kind of colors. If you don't want color, bro, we could just do black lines and then do something like a light shade. Yeah, I'm definitely down with that. Bright colors just don't stand out in dark skin, so I'm going to give them a black and gray tattoo. That's what I specialize in. I think that'll be pretty cool, man. You got your cross? Do you that big? Yeah. I'm going to do a black and gray, man. Really? 
have to do a color. There is black and gray stained glass. You gotta think about the challenge. Big C's, you're shooting yourself in the head if you think that you're gonna get away with doing a black and gray tattoo. I'd rather just play it safe and just do it black and gray. We'll see what happens. First time I ever saw Miami was in jail. It started with my mom passing away. It was a real bad time. I did the drugs and the drinking and all that stuff to get my mind off of my mom. But I took a negative and made it a positive. I came out of there sober, a different person. I was screwed, dude. Your tattoos kind of began with Miami mentored me. It's almost like you're being adopted by a father. And Miami will always be held in regard as that person who taught me how to tattoo. I definitely worried about Miami and his tattoo. You liked it? Wow, dope. Damn, man, I think that look a little off-centered. You know, I'm in your corner right now. We're not going head to head. I want you to prevail, but it seems like you're making all the eyes against you. Come on, see, baby. Today, you had to use contrast to make vibrant stained glass tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Craig, let's start with you. You went head to head with big C's. I love the brickwork around this thing, and I love all the intricate little shapes that you have in these rays. The hot and cold color palette hits the mark of the contrast. I know you're a heavy color guy. These pastel colors, ramp them up. The power that gets lost is just the color palette. Big C's. You went black and gray here. I went black and gray because trying to do contrast with uh, dark skin is pretty hard. If I was going to have to do something with contrast, I would try to show depth. You didn't do that. And when I came to your room and saw the tattoo in person, I was like, man, that thing don't look straight. This thing is off by more than an inch. Well, I mean, I, I thought it looked pretty good. Craig's tattoo, there's definitely contrast. There's definitely a stained glass window. Craig, winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Craig. Congratulations. You have six hours to create an illusion. And your time begins now. Great, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil on you. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're gonna really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. And left. Dude, that's perfect on the first try. If you're not ingenious doing these tattoos, you will not succeed. I really didn't like the shell. There's not much elements besides the scales on her face that are gonna make her look like a mermaid. I just know my pain tolerance, and I just want you to be able to have a finished piece. Whether I do a hand or a hand with a shell on it, it's gonna be about the same amount of time. I have to show ingenuity with this tattoo. If I start taking details out, it might make no sense. I'm going head to head with my mentor, Cruzman. I really, really just need to win an elimination challenge. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. How you doing? My final tattoo before I go home, Ski. I feel like I can't win for nothing, man. I'm just getting screwed left and right. I have too much integrity to give this lady a headless pinup on the back of her head. I'm not going to do it. Sometimes you can't be bought. This is the type of challenge that's making me want to throw in the towel. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please hold on. Hold on. My canvas is being sissy. It's making me stop every two seconds. Ow. Hold on, hold on again. Oh. Towards the end, it's the worst part. I made it this far, you're doing really good. All I can do is try to coach her down a little bit to keep her from tapping out on me. You know it? Yeah. Just gonna power through. Bear with me. I really need to win against Earl. That will prove that I deserve to be here. Ah. 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 Looks amazing, I love it. I love it. Sweet. Cruzman might just go to the bottom with this tattoo. He did not try to use her hair for the illusion at all. I expected way more out of him. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Marissa, you went head to head with Earl. For this idea, fitting in the armpit, I do commend you on getting a lot of these lines, and they're really clean in this very tender part of the body. You've taken some pretty heavy beatings up here. Yeah. And this is not one of those days. Oddly enough, this is probably my favorite tattoo I've seen you do. Earl. This thing is ugly, bro. This was a living nightmare. By 10 minutes in, he was crying. This tattoo is riddled with weird choices. On the side of the nose, there's those two divots that almost look like that maybe where his eyes would be. That's literally off the picture. 
Just because your reference was a real photo doesn't mean that the tattoo is real looking. You made this look like his eyes yeah, dude, are on his upper lip. It's crazy. Between Marissa and Earl. It's obviously Marissa. I gotta go with Marissa too. Marissa. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Marissa. Duffy, you went head-to-head -head with Cruzman. As far as placement goes, you certainly used your hairline to create hair, and you hit the challenge there. I don't like this one. Her eyes are incredibly far apart. That line that you put off of the lip really pushes her out to have a duck bill. This is definitely my least favorite tattoo I've seen you do. I didn't think it was that rough. Cruzman. What was your plan of attack here? She wanted a pinup girl on the back of her neck with her hair becoming the pinup girl's hair. And I just think that that's a ridiculous idea. I abandoned ship. I wish I would have got a Buddha that I could just line up the belly button. Or... This is easy. To have the back of a neck, no problem. And I definitely tried. You I know don't what think I mean? you did. Abandon the challenge, and I expect everything else the tattoo to be perfect. And there's a lot of flaws in the tattoo. The black shading from underneath her chin, where the earring is, kind of weird. The little outline of her lip is a little bit wonky. Could it have been cleaner? Absolutely. Tattooed it on the back of her neck. If you're playing it, play it, or make it easier on everybody, and throw in the towel. That was a lot more cruel than I thought. Out of respect for everybody standing here who did the challenge, you gotta give it to Duffy. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Duffy. You'll have six hours to create an anatomical heart morph tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. You want it on your ribs? Yes. I have to move the placement. If you've never sat through a rib tattoo before, it's definitely risky. They think that they're giving me a hard canvas. Little do they know that I'm the canvas whisperer. This guy thinks he's getting a tattoo on his ribs. No, he's not. Would you be willing to change the spot at all? Yes. Cool. That, that's fine. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, cool. I told you so. What do you think? It's badass. Thank you. No, it's really red. I'm also gonna fix that little shape right there. I'm totally not worried about Katie. She's gonna kill this tattoo. You can make sure that when you tattoo it, those lines are perfect. Yeah. Chris obviously sees us as a threat, but Chris can suck my Stay super still. Blending two images takes really strong artistry, and this is one of those challenges where if the drawing doesn't look good, the tattoo damn sure won't. We're literally at the halfway point. We started with 18, we're now at nine. All right, you ready? I'm ready. This is where the battle actually starts. Now, any tattoo these guys do could either keep them or send them home. You guys truck along pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Chris is using Eric and Tyler to try to gun for Katie. She's going to show them what's up. The tattoo is looking awesome. I'm stoked on it. Instead of just mashing the heart and the clock together, my goal is to make it look like the clock and heart pieces are made out of each other. I've gone head to head with Eric once and I lost. This is my chance to prove I'm a better artist than him. And Tyler has been doing boring tattoos, so I have to prove that I'm here to stay. Tyler's work is super clean. Do you like the design? I love it. Super sweet. I'm super excited. Good. good. <laughs> Today, you had to create anatomical heart morph tattoos that show your artistry. Each of you tattooed against two other artists, and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win, and two of you will lose. Eric, you tattooed against Tyler and Katie. It looks like a lot of things piled on top of a clock. The blue looks like a weird cartoony elephant foot. It's just hard to read. It's just a little bit messy to my eye. Tyler. As far as the artistry goes, it's just very boring to me. The way the heart interacts with the clock, very minimal. For something with this much saturation of color and this much contrast, to still be this flat is almost a feat in itself. The recurring theme with your tattoos is always the same. Technical application is always great. Everything else becomes very, very flat. There hasn't been anything that's been like, holy that kid, he's a great artist. At this point, it is who can outdraw who, and that's what it comes down to. Katie. There are some really nice little details. The gears are really nice. The hands are really nice. The morphing part, I was hoping to see more of where we're seeing the texture of one item transitioning into the other item. But it is readable. It does look like a mechanical heart, but you did something chaotic with it that 
is exciting to look at. You took a big risk with the design, which I think the other artists didn't do with their designs. You deconstructed the clock and you combined it with the heart in a really cool way. Thank you. We have to debate a win here between Eric, Tyler, and Katie. I have to go with the one that I think is the most interesting, which is Katie's. Katie's is by far the most dynamic. Katie. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Katie. Congratulations. I do a lot of faces, that's what I'm known for. I've been waiting for portrait day. Like, yeah, this is my really? This is what I specialize in. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Deanna's tattoo has really shocked me. Hopefully we're winning. Yeah, one step closer. I know. I know how well she does portraits, and for her to drop the ball on a tattoo when she had skull pick is kind of a big deal. Well, good luck. Thank you. In this week's elimination tattoo, we'll be using only black. You'll be able to dilute your ink, make it gray. Black and gray is one of the oldest forms of tattooing. Most black and gray is derived from, you know, old prison style, working with single needle. We're testing you on shading, so your final product should look three-dimensional. When you say black and gray, we're talking about watered-down black, not opaque gray or the color gray. I do a ton of black and gray, so I'm pretty comfortable. You know, I'm not really worried. Where, uh, like, where on your head were you thinking? Everything that is covered by hair right now, I would like to be covered by tattoo. Billy looks distraught. He has that I'm going home look on his face. Once he failed the first time, I don't think the judge is gonna give him a pass. That's what we attempted yesterday, and we couldn't finish. Mm -hmm. It's just too much. So maybe focus in one area. We could either do a side panel or the whole top. I actually don't like either of those Neither. looks. Okay. No. I would like to have it look like that I've got a head of hair, basically. Right. Um, the only thing working against me at this point is my client. Because of him, I'm putting myself at risk. Mm, that's a tough one. I think it's this claw's thrown me off. Too hand-like? Yeah. OK. My stencils are very complex. I put a lot of information and detail into them. I think that this scared the hell out of my client, and he started freaking out a little bit. All right, we'll, we'll fix that real quick. That's fine. Don't worry about it. OK. If not, you know, we can throw it here, or we okay. can put it here. It is a design that I like. I just don't know if it's a design that I would want to put on my head. This client was very picky, very uncertain. My clients are gonna be the death of me. All right, guys, four hours to go. We're an hour into the challenge, and he still hasn't made up his mind, and I'm starting to worry that he may never. Screw this, you're losing time on this. Let's put an orb there, then have a couple claws grabbed around. Okay. It's pretty simple, and then, uh, Let's slap it right on my thigh. Okay. After all of the discussions and all of the changes, we agreed on the original idea, but we're putting it on the thigh. I'm irritated because he wasted a lot of my time, and time's running out. Can you help slide this out of the way? I'm feeling good. Black and gray is my thing. That's one of my strong points. I think I'm safe in this one. Mel has been bragging about how good his black and gray is. I think he bit off more than he could chew with this tattoo. In that amount of time, you cannot get a tattoo that big, shade it really smooth. He wanted a wood cross to represent his mom. His mom passed away. So let's put him in a wood cross. Why don't we like grow him from a tree? And now uh, we put like some pearly gates kind of in front of it. I've asked and begged and pleaded with these contestants to slow down. Be precise, be clean. You don't have to do a huge tattoo to do a good tattoo. Welcome to the night's elimination. Al, you're up first. You happy with this? Yeah, man, I mean, it was, uh, you know, right up my alley, man. The wooden cross, the pearly gates of heaven. I'm not entirely convinced that anybody would, would think that was a fence. It's like Swiss cheese at the bottom. I love that part. It's my interpretation, it's your though, interpretation of the pearly gates. We don't know what they look like. I'm just trying to stay more focused towards the challenge also and use the light and use the gray tones. The shading is not there. You just don't have any good examples of a smooth gradient that from dark to light, smooth, from black fading to gray, fading to the skin, and fading back into ink again. 
This was your time to shine. Yesterday, you understood what the test was. You defined shade. Like, you killed it. Why not today, when it counts? Billy. What happened now? I want to hear your... Well, he came in thinking we could do the whole head. Today, when we got in, we made a few simple modifications, but by that time, he had just been contemplating and kind of knew that we were running out of time and, you know, made the call. We're going to have to switch it and put it on the leg. It's not even finished. It doesn't have front teeth because you blacked them out. Actually, an elephant's top teeth aren't very visible from that angle. Actually, this part right here would have teeth because it only has the trunk that comes off on the real but Japanese the trunk, design. As the trunk casts a shadow over the front teeth and Dude, the... we'll get any Google image you want up right now. This is just traditional Japanese. But the client asked for me to take different elements of the traditional Japanese. He wanted more of an elephant face. He also wanted to give it more tiger-like ears. I'll say that ear looks more like a Dorito chip than a tiger ear. No spots, no tail, no nothing. Didn't ask for him, didn't want him. The tail actually would not be visible if it was if it was coming out of a black cavern. Dude, you, you've come close on a lot of tattoos, but this tattoo is, this doesn't look like you did it. The judges have decided. And Al, you don't have what it takes to be Ink Master. Your art and the way you see things, you have that. Your application, your technique is the part where you gotta go get up with other people and work. Time to pack your machines and go home. Billy. I made it this far, this, you know, it's great. I came a long way. 10 years ago, I would have never thought this was possible. Somebody has to go home every week. You know, I got dealt that hand. Talking about pinup girls. Pinups and tattooing originated with the military. So the pinups were always exaggerated women because the men were off at war and they would want to see a woman with exaggerated features. Pinup tattoos require you to take your proportion skills and turn them inside out. Pinup girls are intentionally out of proportion. I don't like doing pinups because most people want to get them small and that way you can't get any detail in it and it could go wrong fast. You are to design a pinup girl for your human canvas. The pinup must be from head to toe. So the human canvases will one by one pick up a skull that has your name on it. The canvas that picks your name is your client. Leah? I love doing pinups, I love doing sexy women. It's one of the things I specialize in. So I'm excited about this one. You want to put it on your leg? Yeah. Your legs are not flat. It's not gonna look good. In order to do a beautiful pinup, the skin is really important. I like the skin to be flat so the pinup is not distorted when you see it. I could do like something nice right here. It's not really what not really what I was you know looking for. He really wants to get the tattoo on his scarf. Frankly, if Santo came to see me at home, I would have refused to do that. I really want to show it. Yeah, but uh, I want to do the best work on you, you know what I mean? But I definitely like displaying what I get, you know? I am stuck in the same situation that I was stuck earlier during the competition. This is not good. I am not excited about this. It looks you awesome. Like it? Yeah, awesome. yeah. I love her face. The only thing <laughs> is I think it's going to look way better right here. You know? And she's going to be super hot. If you just change the spot, I guarantee you it's going to be so awesome. You know, I'm just very, I, I wanted it on my calf. He's stubborn. He does not understand how important it is to follow an artist's advice. I mean, you can't, you can't work with the whole back of my leg. For me, it's, it's, it's a shame, you know, because like, I really want to do my best work on you. And this kind of design, it's going to look the best here. You know what I mean? And your legs are like so muscled that it's not smooth. With, with that being said, I, I don't really want to go above my knee. Being that you guys are the, the top in the country, I wanted this to be displayed at any given moment that I wanted it to be so people can see it. If you don't want to do it where, I mean, it's fine. I mean... He's ready to go home.
either I do Santo tattoo on his calf or I do not do any tattoo today. Well, that's really a shame. This is bullshit. I don't have the choice. I hope I'm not gonna be sent home. I'm just happy that you're putting it there because I really was against going anywhere else. I love those boots. It makes her look like a fetish. Are these gloves that she has on? No, no. Oh, no? I mean, I can put glove on her if you want. I think the gloves will do a little bit something like that too, you know? Yeah, I think yeah. it's gonna look cool. Beautiful, man. Lee's piece looks a little off. Her proportions were off and like the way things bent on the human body. She uh, didn't really tackle the job well. No, 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 no. I wish. Welcome to tonight's elimination. Only five of you left. And this week you were tested on your proportion skills by tattooing a pinup girl. Leah. Girl, no. You had a tough week last week. It was a close call for you. How are you feeling about this? I feel good about it. To me, pinups are stunningly gorgeous, and this one isn't. I, this is a, a, a disaster. The elbow on her left arm, it doesn't look right with the angle. She doesn't have her arm twisted the correct way, and it doesn't look proportionate. No one has mentioned her left hand yet. Jesus. It looks like she just pulled it out of the garbage disposal. Am I crazy? Not even sure which finger's which. I don't mean to be a complete ass, but I just can't ignore certain things. I really don't think I'm, I did a bad job. I think that she's a good base and I can go back into it at the details. This isn't a competition to go back into it. You're here to do one great tattoo and walk away and compete. I understand, but... There's no buts. It, okay, it's not, but I mean, as far as this hours, goes... This is, this is what I have, so... I don't know if you guys are just beat up or what, but I'm looking at the best five out of the 10 that are here. And this week's tattoos look like we're back in the beginning again. You know, I get it that here we're supposed to like push ourselves like all the way to the end, you know, but. You didn't come here to win today. The judges have decided. Leah, you don't have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack up your machines and leave. This is extreme tattooing. I am an ink master. There is no doubt about that. I just didn't have control over the cards that were given to me. Usually, I pick my game and I win. Today, you must tattoo a creature that appears in almost every culture wherever humans struggle with good and evil. A demon. Yes. Black and gray horror tattoos is something that I can do in my sleep. I do them all the time. This is awesome. I'm definitely watching this tattoo go from bad to worse. Because this is my specialty, I should be winning this challenge. And it's not gonna happen. I had to pick something with all the hair in the netherworld. I'm spending so much time on the hair, and I'm definitely freaking out about the time I have to finish the rest of the background. Without the rest of the background, this tattoo is not going to show negative space like I would like it to. Artists, today, you had to show negative space with a black and gray demon. Lydia, you're up first. We're looking for negative space. This whole tattoo is the same tone. Because the teeth are the same color as the fur, as everything, the mouth gets really lost. I would have liked to see the teeth and the drool have a little more zing so we don't have to question what the lines are. Wondering what something is in your tattoo is never a good quality. Any one of you could justifiably be eliminated. The judges have decided. Lydia, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. I know that I could do all of these tattoos 100% better. I'm just not the type of artist, apparently, that can do good artwork under pressure. That part of the competition is what me all up. For this elimination tattoo, you must tattoo the ultimate test of accuracy, a portrait. 
Portraits, my Achilles tendon. Hell yeah, portrait day, that is my day. I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. And today, your canvases want portraits of toddlers. Toddler portraits are so much more difficult than normal portraits because the proportions have to be very round and soft, otherwise you can age the image and make it look like somebody that it's not. But that's not all. You'll be tattooing head to head with another artist because two canvases want each portrait. And that means your work will be compared directly with another artist and any error will be apparent. Tattooing the same portrait against another artist, there's nowhere to hide any discrepancies. This is by far the hardest thing we have had to do yet. I think his little plaid shirt is adorable, and I would definitely include that. If I can convince this canvas to switch to black and gray, I can flip this entire thing around on Kevin. I am a portrait artist. I do portraits That's regularly. Wonderful. Yeah. That's such good news. Um, Great. But I do black and gray tattoos. I see that you do add some color. So that's an option, maybe? Color tattoos don't age as well as black and gray. Well, it looks like um, you can still make the eyes bright, which is what yeah. I wanted. I wanted bright eyes, and you can do that with black and gray. Oh, absolutely. If I'm doing black and gray on portrait day, kiss your ass goodbye, Kevin. I decided to go up against Ryan because I've never seen her do anything color realism before. But of course, she convinced her canvas to do black and gray. I do portraits all day, so I'm confident enough to go against anybody in this challenge. So we're the only ones doing color. No one else is. Nobody, she was only one. Judges can say everyone took easy street, black and gray. They're not gonna say that. No. I know the judges hate color portraits. I'm gonna do it anyway. Today, we were testing accuracy with toddler portraits. Each of you went head to head with another artist on the same portrait. Let's see how you did. Kevin, you tattooed the same portrait as Ryan. This was the hardest one of the portraits to do. I wouldn't have chose this photo. It's not an easy one. Color portraits is a thing that I honestly enjoy, so. The colors that you picked are very much the color of your canvas's skin. So when this thing does heal and washes out, you're gonna have really strong eyes, a strong bottom of a nose, and some really heavy blue lines. The color play in this is what really throws it. I don't think you did a correct representation of the hair in the photo. You have this slick part, and then he has these hairs that are flowing over it. You don't have any inference of that. And then you have these slick loops that look like pudding swirl just doesn't look like hair at all. Ryan, you tattooed the same portrait as Kevin. It's a very slick, smooth tattoo. A lot of great technical ability in there. The detail work in the shirt is very nice, but where accuracy really counted was in that eyes and that upper lip. The darkness under the eyes got a little bit too dark, and you dramatized the little peak in his lip too much. The hair looks a little bit animated, like a comic book. It just takes a little bit of the life out of it. The other thing that gets me is the right eye has more of a V to the top of it in your portrait than a soft, subtle roll. Those are soft little details that you miss, but on accuracy day, those are the things to point out. In terms of accuracy, there are areas where both of them really succeeded and areas where they both lost it. I think Ryan's hair is more accurate. I think Ryan's shirt is more accurate. I think Kevin's face is more accurate overall. These two are definitely challenged, and that's making it hard to even come off with a winner. I think Ryan's is nicer as a tattoo, and technically, it's a lot smoother. I Me, mean, personally, I'd rather wear Ryan's tattoo. My vote's for Ryan. Ryan. All right, winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Ryan. Congratulations. Today, you tattooed portraits. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Time to hear from the jury of peers. Now, I understand that you did not reach a decision. Is that accurate? It was a hard split. There was no moving anybody. But me, Nikki, Brian voted for Kevin, and Nate, Gian, Kevin voted for Nikki. Anyone with eyes, I feel like, would say that mine looks more like the picture than Nikki's does. 
his is gonna have no nose within a couple months. Kevin, what I'm missing in your face is your liner so that it won't disappear because your tones are very close to your canvas. These light colors, these things are gonna fade faster than all the rest. Had I known that everybody in the room was doing black and gray, I would've jumped in that pool too and would've did black and gray. But you were confident in the color. I walked in and you had 50 colors poured out and you were like, I feel good doing color so I can't get in your ear. I've been in your ear from day one, but I can't get you to change your ways. You do what you do always. All right, guys, time to decide who's going home. For me, the battle for who's going home is between Nikki and Kevin. If you're looking at which one's a better tattoo, you're gonna go with Nikki. To go home, my vote is for Kevin. If you guys both worked in my tattoo shop and did these, I would be more happy with the one that Nikki did based on knowing that it's gonna look better over time. I'd have to say Kevin. I do not know what things are going to turn into. I think Kevin's looks more like the child than Nikki's does. So I vote for Nikki to go home. For longevity and bones and what the tattoo's gotta be, Kevin. The judges have decided, Kevin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's been fun to watch you. It's a battle, but honestly, Kev, if you take a little direction from people that you do love their work and people that you wanna be around, you're gonna switch in two seconds. Please pack your machines and close shop. I feel a little cheated just because I know that I did a better tattoo when it comes down to it looking like who it was supposed to look like. My tattoo 10 years from now may be different, but Nikki's is always gonna be that unknown child. Today, you must show contrast by tattooing monochromatic portraits. One color. With only one color at your disposal, contrast is crucial to truly capture the distinct features that make a person unique. One is not gonna be good. No. I do a lot of faces, that's what I'm known for. I've been waiting for portrait day. Like, yeah. this is my <laughs> This really? is what I specialize in. That feels blurry. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's very soft and like a lot of can get lost. So, I mean, look how up that looks. My portraits are very vintage looking anyway, so immediately I'm drawn to this wedding photo. How's the photo? When you pulled it up, good? Nope. It's not. It's really pixely. When I blow this face up, all the features wash away. Pixel challenge. <laughs> Nailed it. I can't even do a proper stencil because I can't see the features in it. I just want to be able to show off, and I hope I can you with can. something that's, you know, it's just. At this point, I might as well just tattoo blindfolded. Ooh. May I f myself on this one? This is my day to show off, and I just shot myself in the foot. So I'm kind of referencing this in this picture. I'm seeing where I put my black to be like in this kind of like darker area of the dark red. I just want to make sure that's correct. I mean, that's the only way I see it. If that's all you can use right there, that's the only way. I'm hitting the challenge, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that this photo is blurry and wonky, and so is my tattoo. I could be screwed. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. All done. You all feel good, and you're all done. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Deanna's tattoo has really shocked me. Hopefully we're winning. Get one step closer. I know. I know how well she does portraits, and for her to drop the ball on a tattoo when she had skull pick is kind of a big deal. Well, good luck. Thank you. Today, you had to show contrast using a single color to tattoo a portrait. Let's see how you did. Deanna. For a monochromatic portrait, the softness in the application is beautiful. I love the way you just cut out the negatives in the dress at the bottom. And I love the sheerness of the veil. But if we look at her two front teeth, you can see a little bit of divide, very, very slightly. But in your tattoo, you gave her one big crazy tooth in the front. That's the biggest thing that changes the look of this girl. That printout of that picture, you couldn't see a tooth, you couldn't see even the hair direction. Deanna's choice to take that portrait is a choice. That's the things you live and die by in here. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's hear from the coaches. Guys, why did you vote Deanna to the bottom? Every part of this for me was off, and I think it's less attractive in the tattoo than it was in the photo. It's a huge bummer, because I was so excited 
for Portrait Day. For as much as I pulled it off, I think that shows a lot of strength because if this was given to anybody else, I feel like they would have butchered it. All right, guys, it's time to determine who's going home. If you put Deanna's next to Rolly's, it's night and day. Mouth's off, eyes are off in Rolly's, and it's not applied as well. My eyes are at least in the right place. Deanna's are in the right place. For a portrait, cross-eyed and a buck tooth kind of ends it for me. My vote's for Deanna. Knowing what these photos look like, there's too many things that get away in Jason's tattoo. My vote's for Jason. I just got to go for likeness. My vote is for Deanna. The judges have decided. Deanna, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. It's really been an honor. Thank you. I don't agree with this. I hate to see you go. Know that you're just as good as anybody else in this competition. Please pack your machines and close shop. Leaving without that title, it's a huge bummer, but top five is not bad. It's proof that I'm not just a little southern girl with pigtails who likes to draw. I'm a real competitor. I'm gonna take what I've learned in this competition and tattoo my ass off when I get home. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. I want to be able to feel these things in my mind. I want to know that there's feathers, or there's fur, or there's scales, or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's got to be obvious to the look. Precision with photorealism is pretty much cut and dry. The tattoo needs to look like a photo. If it doesn't, you really miss precision. I do this every day. This is what I do. For your elimination tattoo, you'll be using your color skills to create an American traditional tattoo. This style became popular during the turn of the 18th century by sailors who would frequent the tattoo shops. A great American traditional tattoo should have a lot of black, very clean outlines, bright colors with a limited palette. This is all I was able to tattoo for the first year of my career. But I'm gonna be good at this. It's American traditional, real simple. It's got to be bold. My pasty skin finally comes in handy for something. My goal is in five hours, get done about five tattoos. Josh took the easy route. You know, I basically just looked at like the most basic version of traditional tattoos and just redrew them. It's kind of like taking a gamble. I think the judges are going to tear them up for just taking the easy way out. All right, that's it. Time's up. Machine's down. That's nice. Not one other person in here did what was told of them to do. They didn't simplify enough. It's American traditional. Welcome to tonight's elimination. Your job was to do an American traditional tattoo. We will be judging you on color and how well you stuck to the American traditional style. Josh? You put the color where it should be and it looks bright. Instead of doing one in an hour and then sitting down and smoking cigarettes the rest of the time, you gave the guy six tattoos. You took good, solid, clean images that have stood the test of time for 100 years. You didn't nitpick with a bunch of little frilly details. You didn't take it to the limit with a bunch of fancy, lighter colors. You did exactly what it was expected. And this competition is to hand out the prize to somebody who can do it all. That's what it boils down to. In your case, man, you know, you, you hit it. You hit today's mark. You know, it's like you could find somebody who does the most beautiful photorealistic portrait and then ask him to tattoo an eagle. And it's like, oh, you need to roll a toilet paper because that eagle is not going to come out looking like what you're asking for. You put your traditional boots on today. Good job. Thank you. Josh, you had the tattoo of the day, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. You were smart. You went simple, you went bold, and it's clean. The client told you what they wanted, you gave them six of what he wanted, and you did some nice traditional work. You can thank your mentor for this one. Yes. This week, we're testing you on color. The judges are looking for how saturated your color is, how rich, how vibrant, how hard it pops. For this elimination tattoo, we're going new school. Oh. Wow. New school tattoos are bold, bright, and include fantastical designs. Jesse is amazing at this He's the baddest new schooler in the house. Five million people are gonna watch me kick your 
chance at this. Hey, man, I hope so. I'm getting an underhand pitch in a baseball game. I mean, I got to hit this out the park. I think it looks just like him. Glad you like it. Being that this is a new school competition and new school is what I predominantly do, I should be in the top. Jesse Smith is a player in this game. He is the queen on the chessboard. I'm a new school kid, you know? I grew up doing new school, so I'm a lot more comfortable. I'm coming after that mother This week, you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Jesse. This is your lane, so this is what we expect. This is a clean, clean, clean tattoo, and you really show off this style. It's a great tattoo. Caricature, style, the nose, to the fine detail in the hair. Definitely one of my favorites of the day. You did a good job. Thank you. This week, we're testing texture. In the flash challenge, you had to tattoo a difficult texture. In the elimination tattoo, we're testing how well you replicate texture to make your tattoo lifelike. For this elimination tattoo, we want you to terrify us with a horror tattoo. I am ecstatic that this week we're doing horror images. It is 70% of the work I do, I'm gonna kill it. Similar to books and films, horror is a broad style with one goal in mind, and that's to scare. The tattoos look real using texture to bring them to life. What are you looking to get done? One a zombie with the flesh ripping off the face with fire involved. Steve? Clint gives me the human canvas that wants a zombie skull. Clint throw me a bone, he's my boy. You couldn't have picked it better for me. I'm happy as a pig in I'm known for tattooing dead stuff, bloody, gory, demon-like. I mean, this is the best stuff I do. I'm really super happy about this. Everything you do is a horror flick. Clint here does horror, point to Steve. <laughs> this week, we asked you to create a horror tattoo. We were testing texture. Steve. I like the way you layer. You can see it in the undertones. You do a really dark area almost to feel the black, but then you still get this darker layer behind it where you really add the texture and you really make those little pits. The real look of depth you get in the eye socket in the back of the mouth really make this thing stand out. We're looking for texture. This is texture. Jesse and Steve, you guys have the top two tattoos. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. Good job, bud. There's an obvious trend. You guys are battling. You guys obviously know that you keep rivaling back and forth. But the bottom line is that we've seen you do color, and we haven't seen you do black and gray, Jesse. You got to fight back soon, man. And it's coming. I want to see you guys do some This week, we're testing your use of value. Value is taking something from its darkest to its lightest and having it be a seamless transition from one to the other. There is no better way to measure value than with a black and gray Day of the Dead tattoo. Black and gray is all about the smooth transition from the lightest value, the skin, to the darkest value, solid black. It's black and gray, not mixed black and white. We're able to use white, of course, for highlights, I'm guessing. Correct. Let's meet your canvases. Tattoo Baby, you won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all of the human canvases. Choose wisely. The advantage to be able to pick everybody's skull. I want people to do good. I want a new school female, pigtails, old western style. He wants it new school. I am like, damn, that's the one I want. Jimmy. I'm gonna hook that thing up. Tattoo Baby throws me a bone. This one is awesome. I feel like I could really start to shine. What do you think? I love it. Good. The canvas that I got actually let me draw my style of artwork. I'm finally doing a new school tattoo. I like her tattoo too. That's a good touch. Banging this out. Artists. Today, we asked you to show us proper use of value in Day of the Dead black and gray tattoos. Jimmy. It's pretty sad that on black and gray challenge, one of the best tattoos of the day is a new school tattoo without color in it. My favorite part of the tattoo is the little sugar skull on the shoulder. That is awesome. You show that you know how to get different values out of black and a lot of smooth transitions. It's those little areas of greatness that give us the full confidence to go, this guy knows his Appreciate you guys' time. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. Congratulations, man. You came out and you showed how versatile you are. 
Really nice job. Thank you. This week, we are testing technical precision. If you don't have technical precision, your lines won't be in the right spot, your shading won't be solid, you'll basically just make a mess. Today, you better be on your A game because you're tattooing the toughest test of technical precision, a color portrait. But that is not all. You must tattoo color portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. I've done over 100 color portraits in my career. Not everybody knows how to do a color portrait. This is something that I know how to do. People say, you know, like, you've never done portraits. And I'm thinking, in the last three seasons, they've always done portraits. You had to assume that you were going to be doing a portrait. This is my specialty. I know I'm going to win this challenge. Like, how could you come into a competition like this and not get your together? Today, we ask you to use technical precision to create an X-Men color portrait. Halo. Halo, man, this is a great tattoo. Your skin tone is a lot darker than the photo. That is a good choice. You have to up the contrast on these light skin tones or else they're just gonna blend into the person's natural skin tone. Your experience really shined through in this challenge. Very good job. This week, we're testing lines. Lines are the backbone of every tattoo. If you don't have that bone structure, your image is gonna be totally screwed up. One of the most rigorous tests of lines is ornamental tattoos. <laughs> ornamental tattoos are intricate patterns of lines repeated to create a complex design. I am stoked. This is right on my alley. This is what I do at home. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. And remember, in every elimination tattoo, you'll always be tattooing head to head with at least one other artist, giving an apples to apples comparison. Today, the canvases are in pairs. Every canvas wants the same subject matter as one other canvas. That means you will all be going head to head with one other artist. And the judges will directly compare your work in critique. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Aaron and Emily, you won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases together. By assigning the skulls, you're also determining who tattoos head to head. Having control of the first skull pick is truly godlike. Aaron. Chris. This is what I do, and this isn't what Chris does. He's got shaky line work, he's green as so he is an easy target, and I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna send Aaron home. I don't know if you sure about that. He's good. I don't know, Aaron, is just good? All kinds of people think that they can do ornamental style tattoos, and they can't even run straight lines. It's kind of funny. And one of my favorite challenges, one of the ones everyone else is sweating over. I do this, this is what I do at home. Chris and the rest of the artists here should be worried today. Wow, man. That is awesome. That's the best tattoo I ever got. Thank, Thank you. you. Check it out, man. That's dope, man. That's hot. Aaron called me out by challenging me head to head. My lines on this tattoo are perfect and precise. I know I'm a better artist than he'll ever be. Chris's tattoo is flat. It's super busy. There's no contrast. I'm going to kick Chris's little short bow tie suspender wearing ass. Today, you had to use intricate patterns of line work to create ornamental tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win and one of you will lose. I think everybody in the room did much better tattoos this week. So I am happy for the fact that everybody stepped up. Chris, let's start with you. You were up against Aaron, and Aaron was part of the team that handed out the skulls. So he gave you this challenge against him. How do you feel about that? I didn't really let it affect me too much. I mean, I'm pretty confident in my piece. I like the little bit of areas of softness that you have, like the one little piece of filler that's kind of off out of focus. Overall, you do have some nice line work in here. The back part of the skull looks a little ear-ish, but I think the lines are amazingly clean. I like the use of the red up against that lighter gray. It's a great tattoo, man. Thank you. 
it's time to poll the judges in terms of this head-to-head -head competition between Aaron and Chris. These two tattoos are both very clean, but the lines that Aaron put in there hedge them over the top a little bit for me. I'll have to say Aaron as well. I'm gonna go with Aaron as well. Chris? Aaron. The winner of the head-to-head -head competition is Aaron. Get ready to be put to the test. Oh, boy. There are two tables of skulls today. In this elimination tattoo, it's the luck of the draw. Oh, man, are you kidding me? My fate can be in the crazy hands of a skull pick? Each of you must choose one skull from each table. One table of skulls will determine your style, and one table of skulls will determine your subject. I'll do any style, any time, any place. Bring it on. You've also been randomly assigned a picking order. Clean, you're up. New school. What? I consider myself one of the forefathers of new school tattoos. He invented new school. Tiger. Bang. Man, I am pumped. There's no way I'm gonna drop the ball on this one. I feel like I've done really, done really well so far. I've been the front runner in this whole entire competition. This is my wheelhouse right here. Clean Rock One, going to the finale, hands down. I got my eye on the prize, you know. Five, four. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more tattooing. You got a winner? No. Yeah, I got a winner. Oh my god. This week, you had to prove that you could take on any challenge and persevere. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Clean. Let's start with you. You pulled the new school tiger. I've been doing this style for 15 years. I tried to bring every trick I had in my bag on this one. Your lines, super crisp, black, solid. You got some great little details in the gums and the teeth and the tongue. Your blends from orange to yellow and from blue to white, seamless, man. You totally nailed it. Thank you. Who had the best tattoo of the day? When you really look at Clean's tattoo, there's tricks in the tongue, there's tricks in the gums, there's smooth blending, there's a strong outline. Final decision. Clean. 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 The judges have decided, Clean, you have the best tattoo of the day. But that's not all. You have also earned your spot in the live finale. Overall body work and the consistency, I don't think anybody can deny the fact that you're a solid tattooer, and that's what it took to get to this spot. Oh my god. This is for real right now? You're going, man. Congratulations. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. This week, we're going directly into an elimination tattoo. Whoa. You are being tested on legibility. If you cannot register what a tattoo is within three seconds, technically, it's wrong. You must tattoo a style that every master should excel at and every apprentice must conquer. American traditional. We are surrounded by authentic airplanes from World War I and World War II. During that time, the American traditional style became increasingly popular. Colors were limited, so tattooers relied on heavy use of black to create strong contrast. Once again, for this elimination tattoo, you will be competing head to head with your master or apprentice. Tattooing the same subject. Canvases who want gypsy girls, you're up next. Matt, Katie. Where are you wanting to put your tattoo? Shoulder. Chest. I'm gonna choose the young lady as well. MV, last week your apprentice was eliminated. You've been assigned an open canvas, and now you get to choose which pair of artists you want to tattoo against. Only one of you will win, and two of you will lose. You need to figure out which two people you want to go home. That's the team you got to pick. I'm thinking more about the subject matter than who I'm going against. I'll tattoo the gypsy against Matt and Katie. MV going up against Matt and myself is the biggest mistake he could have made in this competition. Traditional is my Clean American traditional, that's what I'm going for. Nothing else. MV has succeeded in himself. Matt and Katie aren't the two you'd go against for this particular challenge. This is the one area where they're the most comfortable. I know that Matt can pull some really clean lines and Katie beat him last time. I just gotta do a clean piece. Am I crazy? Does anybody else know this is a game? MV is playing the game badly. We're getting there. This week, you had one more chance to battle your master or apprentice head to head to prove which of you is the best. One of you will win and one of you will lose. 
lose, and you could be eliminated. Matt, let's start with you. You went head-to-head -head with MV and Katie. Immediately, the profile is appealing. It is legible across the room. It does have that punch. I like the rose. I like the brown. It makes it rich, subtle. It's tough. It's not dainty. I like it. Thank you. Katie. Katie, what went through your mind when MV decided to go up against you and Matt? I was kind of surprised because he knew that I enjoy doing a lot of traditional tattoos back home. I like the shape of it. I like the initial look of it. Everything's really smooth, really stylized. And then we get to the eyelashes. Kind of looks like spider legs coming off her eye. MV. Of all the artists that were available to go up against, you had the choice, and you chose to go up against Matt and Katie. I didn't want to just take the easy layup. I wanted to go against people that actually excel at this. This is a very poorly drawn profile of a face. Just because it's simplistic doesn't mean that it's traditional. It can still be pretty. It can still have style. This tattoo does not have any of those things. All right, judges, time to debate the winner of this head-to-head -head challenge. Matt and Katie's tattoos clearly meet the legibility part of this challenge, but Matt's is a little bit more of a classic look. Matt for the win. Matt, the judges have decided. Matt, you have won your head-to-head -head competition. And this week, we're testing contrast. Contrast is the ability to use lights and darks or opposing colors to really make your design pop. Today, you must create stained glass tattoo. Look at all the textures in the glass and everything. We're going for a marbly broken glass effect in here. Chris and Eric put me head to head against Dave Clark. So I guess they want Dave Clark gone right now. I grew up in a church. I've made stained glass. They are not going to know what hit them. I have several ministers in my family. That's kind of the family business. When I decided to become a tattooist, I knew that I would have some resistance. It made me overachieve. I'm not going to be a tattooist. I'm going to be the best tattooist in the whole world. I was thinking about illustrating the lead, no one. Today, you had to use contrast to make vibrant stained glass tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Dave, you went head to head with St. Mark. The contrast in the colors play nicely to this tattoo. I like the attention to detail in the finer lines, how you connected the glass together. Overall, I think you did a decent job here. St. Mark. You took such an attention to detail with making these panes look like glass. And the little areas where you're showing that the lead is dimensional. I wanted to stick to a super bold lead outline. Putting the waves and the colors in the glass really shows a lot of great contrast just in the dynamic shape of the bird. Killer take on this challenge. Mark really surprised us with some techniques that we weren't expecting to see today. Hands down, this one goes to St. Mark. I'm definitely with Mark today. Winner of the Head to Head Challenge is St. Mark. Congratulations. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're going to do black and gray portraits. Why did you make that decision? I got eliminated season two for Black and Gray Portrait, and I just wanted to, you know, start off where I left off. I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into strengthening my weaknesses. Damn. He's been practicing like a mother Black and Gray Portraits? What the hell, Jesse? You're a new school artist. Why would you choose this? Picking portraits is a power move. I'm not here to mess around. I'm here to win this competition. Jesse, have a seat. What's up, guys? Guys, you heard him. You must tattoo a Black and Gray Portrait. But that's not all. Your canvases all want tattoos of their personal political hero. What? Everyone knows what political figures look like. So if we make one mistake, your average person is going to know it. What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. I do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Good. Gonna be pretty rad. I need to crush this today. I need to let everybody know in the house that this wasn't even a competition. Convince me from the get go. As soon as I saw your Instagram, I'm like, this dude knows how to do portraits. Clean gives me George Washington. I did not want this, but I specialize in black and gray portraits. Looks great, man. Really smooth. Clean is not a black and gray artist. He's about to get sent home by a new artist. 
Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Christian. As far as capturing a likeness, you really get the personality and the look of this person. You cut down on the number of wrinkles, but kept the direction and the flow of the wrinkles just right. Smart choices on how to interpret what's in the real photo. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Anthony. It's evident that portraits are your thing. The softness of the shading where you can't see it start or finish is great. All in all, the interpretation on this, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the divot you have in the left side of the cheek, that tiny little highlight that you captured, it's a great job. All right, guys, now it's time to determine a win for today. Christian and sausage, that's the fight at hand here today for me. Go with Christian. It's unanimous. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Christian. I'm going to go check in with Ryan Ashley now. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. All right, so Ryan, America assigned you fine line black and gray, which yes. is your specialty. Yes. You gotta be happy about that. I am thrilled. I mean, I have a very specific style and didn't have the opportunity to show it while filming. And, you know, today's the day. Now I get to show everything that I So you didn't really get to do your style, yet you made it to the finale. Yes. That's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Right on, good luck. Thank you. All right. Okay, Ryan, you were assigned fine line black and gray, which is your specialty. Let's check out the judges. Ryan, I'm happy that you got to do something to really show off and let us see what you do. Um, you've done great tattoos all season. This is another one that lines you right up in that category. You've had a great outing. The question is, fine line black and gray, there's a lot of bold lines in there. And I just feel like you stepped a little bit out of what was asked, but again, an amazing tattoo. Just the word fine line comes to mind. All right, Ryan, thank you. Step back. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. I want to be able to feel these things in my mind. I want to know that there's feathers, or there's fur, or there's scales, or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's got to be obvious to the look. Precision with photorealism is pretty much cut and dry. The tattoo needs to look like a photo. If it doesn't, you really miss precision. I do this every day. This is what I do. What's up, Clean Rock One? It's coming to see the legend over here. Oh, yeah? Historically, in this competition, the day that people will get to do the they want to do, they normally go home. I'm about to rewrite the books today, though. Watching the icon in action. Hey, both of y'all right now. <laughs> I'm trying to show that nobody in this house can do what I do. Because I'm TJ mother fool, goddammit. Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Team Christian, you're up first. TJ. This gorilla has kind of an innocent, soulful look to it, and I really do think you captured that look. This tattoo definitely shows a lot of hyper detail, precision in the face. Every wrinkle is so magnified. I like the choices that you made here to leave this nose really stark light and not overshade it so that it illuminates the face a lot because it really brings a lot more light to a very dark subject. It's strong, it's very legible to what it is. Definitely my favorite tattoo I've seen you do. I appreciate it. Today's challenge, you must tattoo neo-traditional animals. Dope. Your antlers to head proportions may be a little off just to make it work better. I want it to be more like anthropomorphic so they don't gotta be Perfect. super huge. Good, you got awesome yeah. use of vocabulary, man. I'm <laughs> loving it. I like the little chest hair you gave him. Yeah, right? The women gave me this moose tat because they don't think I'm a capable artist, but I'm about to show them. I love this tattoo. You're looking at the tattoo of the day, man. I spent a lot of time as a child sculpting, painting, doodling. I was just that creepy little kid drawing by himself. Yes, killing it. Good job. Oh, nice. yes. This is when I finally get to show what I can do here as a tattooer. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yeah, man, that's good. Dude, that is incredible.
Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal. Jason. It's a cool drawing. It's got a cool style to it. The rope border is a smart idea because it doesn't have to be that perfect hard circle with a hard outline. Having that little bit of background in there is a nice touch. So far, you have come out and you've drawn with your heart. You are the guy in the room that on paper is pushing with illustrations. All right, judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I mean, for me, Creepy Jason standing out. Solid, legible, a lot of contrast. My vote for Creepy Jason. I like to see art. I like to see things that I don't expect to see. I'm gonna go with Jason. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Today, you must tattoo a black and gray, realistic U.S. landmark. What? Shit. Wow. Today is a great day. We had this call pick, and we're doing a black and gray challenge. My team, that's our specialty. So you stand no chance, brothers. One of you is going home. It's like portrait day on crack. Lots of little details going on here. I wish it didn't have to hurt. I'm doing the Taos Pueblo. Bob told me it's a big rock formation, but turns out it's an entire town made out of adobe. It's like one of the most detailed tattoos I've ever done, I'm not gonna lie. Black and gray realism is my specialty. If I don't nail every single ledge and window and stare in this tattoo, I'll never hear the end of it. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. Angel. You took a smart approach to this tattoo because it is illustrated. You have a lot of smooth shading. You have areas that transition. All the negative in the face of these buildings shines so bright because you put the mountain behind it dark. You put the ground in front of it, medium tone. It's really legible, it's really clear, but this is a New Mexico Pueblo. Mm -hmm. That is a saguaro cactus. It only grows in Arizona. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is my bad. But overall, I think it's a very smart play on how to attack this. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Angel. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. When you see Angel's finished tattoo, where all the bells and whistles are on the whole landscape, it tells a better story and is a better all-around tattoo. Final decision. Final decision is Angel because Jarrell didn't finish his drawing. Thank you. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. No, never mind. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm okay. just trying not to Is that your mess life? up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Oh, you cool. In an animal tattoo, in order to create dimension, you have to have lights and darks. You have to blend it in a way that tricks the eye into thinking that it's no longer a two-dimensional canvas. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. Good luck. Oh my god. Yeah. My canvas wants a portrait style jaguar. You know, I'm super stoked about it. It's perfect. I'm gonna show a lot of dimension. This is the exact design that I need to win. Hopefully the pain won't be that bad. <laughs> I don't there wanna be go. that girl. Oh, that's so unpleasant. I feel like a little bit nauseous right now. I'm concerned. Is it the pain, you know? You want me to just give you like a little break? I can just stretch out a minute. Damn, we just freaking started. How are you feeling right now? I'm like really dizzy right now. My canvas, she's just not feeling well. Take a deep breath. I'm praying to everything for her to feel better. I really want to finish this tattoo. <sighs> Try and relax. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like I don't feel good right now at all. <sighs> Two more hours remaining, everybody. <sighs> you think you're gonna throw up? Why is this happening to me? Right now. Oh, God. Uh, 
Somebody fucked. This is the worst thing you can have happen. She's a good tattoo artist. She could be going home just because the canvas can't sit. She's in trouble. Oh my God. It really, really sucks. If my canvas doesn't let me finish this tattoo, I'm going home. 10 more minutes, everybody. How are you feeling? You feel like you could do a little bit more? As time is ticking down, I'm trying to finish the rest of this tattoo as fast as I can. Will you ever do another five hour tattoo? Hell no. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time, that's it. Machine's down. No more ink. <sighs> I mean, I like it for what it is. I am so freaking upset. Like, words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I know that having an unfinished tattoo is going to send me home. That's it, it's done. Bye-bye, tattoo baby. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Tattoo baby. How are you, doll? Still kind of stressed. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like, I don't feel good right now at all. Oh, God. <laughs> I had about an hour left when she felt better. The little textures of the fur, when you can tell the direction of the little hairs, the way you put the solid black where it needs to be, the multicolors you use to show dimension is really, really nice. You had so much opposition from your client being sick. You pulled off all kinds of cool tricks in here. They definitely didn't want to give you a boring tattoo. The white highlights were key for you. The green eyes are beautiful. I cannot believe this is the same person that did the first tattoo in <laughs> week one. Holy you have turned it around immensely. Really? I'm happy to see that you did this quality job. You had a lot against you, and you pulled off a lot of tricks in half the time of everybody else for that. We commend you. Today, you must tattoo Medusa. From Greek mythology, Medusa is a monster with snakes for hair who turns any man that dares look at her into stone. Composition is crucial to legibility. There's a lot of really tiny detail when it comes to a Medusa. You have snakes in her hair, a pretty face. They are really easy to screw up. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to close shop. Ooh. Good luck. Medusas are the Achilles heel for all tattooers. It takes a pretty lady's face, it takes perfect snakes, it takes perfect composition. You want to do like a bust so you can get more detail in like the snakes and the head? Yes. Okay, perfect. Full body Medusa. Full body. With a skull face. Skull face. Looking down at a victim she's turned to stone. Jesus, God. This is a pressure cooker in my opinion. The snakes are about done if that's any consolation. Uh, that's it. No, I got to do the face. I know how to do faces better than most of the people in this room. I'm getting up, I'm taking a break. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'm gonna get some soda. Do you need to do that right now? Yeah. We only have six hours. I'm stressing whether or not I'm gonna get this tattoo finished or not. I'm trying to make it as fast as I can. we're on a time limit. She's freaking me out. Hey, what's up? Chilling while she pees forever. My worst fear is coming true. I think I'm gonna go get her. You doing okay, dear? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Okay, no, they <laughs> worry, the sorry. What's everybody doing? Three hours, guys, halfway done. You're just getting me paranoid, girl. You're scaring me. If I don't finish, I'm out of here. I definitely want to take another break. That's for damn sure. Okay. I can't afford to take several 20-minute breaks. Get it together, lady. Today, you had to show perfect composition by tattooing Medusa. Team Nunez, let's see how you did. Nikki, I love this tattoo. The face is beautiful. The composition is really great. You don't have tons of snakes, but what you do have are dynamic. The part of the tattoo that I do not like is the two pieces of body directly over the top of her forehead. Those look like green bananas, not snakes. But you still gave her a beautiful tattoo. You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. How do you want to do it? Pocket of the angel. Okay. He has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. 
I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I needed to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Just keep pushing through. Oh, yeah, man. Get this man. Yeah, I got it right. Well, I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurt a little bit. And the drawing sucks. There's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the yeah, out stop. of here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and Dude. talk a bunch of and now you lost two in a row and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going happen. home. And it's gonna happen, I know it. My chemist wants a 16 hour tattoo condensed into six hours, but he's squirming like a little bitch. God, damn, damn this. All right, that's, oh, all right. You gotta finish it, man. No, I have the coffin. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas, and this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother, and I love him, and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. I'm gonna drop the ball today. Cheer up. Cheer no. Up. Cheer the f up. It's hard. Gonna go pack my bags. Oh my God, Kyle. <laughs> Killing me. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff the hood, the wing, and the background. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. And I wanna be able to feel these things in my mind. I wanna know that there's feathers, or there's fur, or there's scales, or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's gotta be obvious to the look. Precision with photorealism is pretty much cut and dry. Your tattoo needs to look like the photo. If it doesn't, you really miss precision. I do this every day. This is what I do. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be sent home. Good luck. Have you ever had the back of your thigh done? I have. All right, so you're thinking like right here? Yeah. Are you opposed to the front? I don't really like the look of two thigh pieces, just, just not okay. my look. This is the one day I can't afford to slip up. I'm doing something I don't do. I'm gonna probably take this tattoo to the wire. That means a full six. My only concern is I don't want you tapping out or you hurt and be the reason I go home. Yeah. Because no. I'm so freaking close. Of course. I literally have no idea how to pull this off. Like, you can already pack my bags. I'm going home. Tony, put it on the back. Mm -hmm. That's the only place she wants it. Making it this far in a competition like this is tough. Anything can happen in these final tattoos. If you're not at your best every day, that could be your last. They're judging off of that photo, you know, so just try and do everything you can to keep as much as you can, you know? Okay. I'm not known as a photorealism guy, but I do do it. So I gotta do everything I can to try and coach my guys to get to the end. I'm doing a tattoo that I've never done before and I don't know how to do, so I'm learning as I go. The bottom will hurt a little bit more. I wanna come out of this competition a stronger tattooer with a stronger mindset. I have it in me, I just gotta find it and pull it out. You know what? Uh, I'm not even in. Do some little intervals. Keep her in the chair and noodle away. She's flopping around like a fish out of water. It's not efficient when you have to take a break every 10 minutes. This is top five. I'm so close, but this is the one challenge that could send me packing. I tried. I know, you did good. You, you did the best you could. That's all I can ask for. Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Tony. 
At first glance, you capture what the animal is, but for precision in your tattoo, you're missing this jowl, that heavy muscle, so that that thing would be able to grab a crocodile by the head and pull it up the riverbank. The other thing is, I am not a fan of the white whiskers with nothing backing them. That's a crazy play but it's tough to not recognize a cat with spots on it for what it is. So in that way, I think you got a blessing and a curse. There's an upside to this and a downside. If you looked at the actual photo, there were way too many things that just didn't match. The fact that even the spots didn't match, it's precision, it's being accurate. Hitting the portrait, there's a lot of discrepancies, I agree 100%. At one point, I realized I'm not gonna be able to recreate this image. So at that point, my goal was just to do a, the most badass leopard I could and to make sure I could at least make the tattoo look like it's supposed to. Just on precision day, those are the areas that we're gonna have some problems with. Well, I was given a leopard and it looks like one. Explain the black streaks coming off of the chin into the whiskers, outside of the face. There's not a spot on that face that's accurate. Neither of them are accurate. It's got to count for something on Precision Day. However, in the world, when they look at this animal, the spots, luckily for this, don't lie. One way or the other, it's a leopard. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh... So no excuses. Good luck. I'm planning to do for you the realistic roles. OK. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Being able to tattoo anything you want in this competition is a huge gift. Cool, man. If you're able to do anything you want, you shouldn't have to defend it. This is what I do, animals and food, so it's like perfect. <laughs> I love blind critiques because a lot of times the artists think that we're out for them. I love that because it goes right with your tricep. Yeah. We will critique each one unbiasedly. We call it like we see it, just talking about art. You ready? Yep. My canvas, she's in a huge pain, and she always moving. Ooh. It's really hard for me to tattoo her. Ooh. You gotta give me two seconds, please. I'm doing it very gently. Trust me. It's not, I don't know what you want me to do. It hurts. And you're not really being, like, encouraging or trying to distract me. It hurts. I know that it hurts. And you knew that it's going to be hurt. Yes, every time you wipe it, you're sc scratching me with the paper towel. Let's run to the bathroom. I'm scared that my canvas cannot handle this pain. I'm really worrying that I cannot finish this that time. time. I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You what? I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You don't want to continue? No. Can you explain me why? Because I need to understand. I mean, I, I think your bedside manner is a little off. I feel like really uncomfortable, which I shouldn't. With me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I really, I didn't want to do something wrong. The only, I was trying to do the beautiful art for you. Yeah, and I know. And the limited I appreciate... time make me rush. Yeah, I understand. I just feel. If you feel uncomfortable, I understand. If I'll go home for this tattoo, it will break my heart. I cannot go home for my roses. How'd it go, Pony? Did you finish? No. What? I was like 70 process down. What happened? She was a really big pain. When I feel that I have not enough time, I start rushing. And after all this pain, she thought that I'm not gentle to her. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope you are ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the last tattoo. The center of this thing looks beautiful and rich. We can only assume this is not finished. I'm looking at the exterior. Why damage the skin with some scratchy little green line so that you can just come back and damage the skin more? There's a good chance that this client said, man, you're killing me. I can't sit here any longer because you've been scribbling on me for five hours and I can't take one more hour. I don't know what to say. It's unfinished tattoo. If it will be finished, I think they would say something totally different. Today you're being judged on your artistry with a blind critique. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Last tattoo, let's take a look. Okay, Pony. The problem was my canvas 
cannot handle the pain. If you weren't tattooing over areas that you already pre-tattooed in, it might not have hurt her so long and might have been able to finish the tattoo. Those lines, it's just fast lines which help me to keep the picture on the skin. That's how I do the photorealism. Pony, you have a lot of talent. If you have to do a tattoo that big, but you outline it, shade it, and color it, and finish it, do it. Let's reveal the lowest ranked tattoo. Pony. I'm not surprised. If it was finished, it'd be a different story. All right, artists, you have six hours to create a pinup tattoo, and your time starts now. All right, brother. Let's do this. Stand natural for me. Pinups are very tough because there's very small little eyes, a very small little nose, dainty little fingers. So every drop of ink you put on the skin has to be perfect. Oh, that's a good spot. It should be cute, it should be attractive, it should be beautiful. That's what makes a pinup a pinup. Perfect stencil, dude. It's gonna be a good day. If a pinup's ugly, she's not coming to meet my mom. All right. Here we go. The face is the most important part. This is right where they go in. Can't there. joke up the face, man. No. Pinups are not my thing, but I do a ton of faces and portraits. So with that, I'm good. You okay? Yeah. One thing I'm worried about. So my canvas looks like she's not feeling too good. <coughs> Excuse me. She's coughing every now and then, and she's just real fidgety. I like burn it up and stuff. Right. It was before I came, though. It's not because of the tattoo. If you f up a line at all, you can't fix it. I need my canvas to stay still. You get tattooed and you're not feeling too good, it makes it even worse. I was smart, I did the face first. I just say those boots were last, man. It's a tattoo that I knew I could pull off in two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm not gonna tattoo you anymore. Oh, you're not? No. As a tattoo artist, you have to know when enough is enough. So we're gonna call it right there, okay? Okay. It's a good tattoo, it's done well. I just hope that it's enough. Thank you. Have a good day, you're I hope a winner, okay? I think it's a winner, man. Today, you had to show artistry, tattooing a pinup. Jarrell. Hi, guys. I really like this girl. I especially love the dark strip of shading that you have down the center of her leg that pushes out. That light source is beautiful. And the way that you get that nice, gentle, soft texture in the shirt really shows well. You're really shining on this one. Jarrell is definitely in the top today. This thing is unique. It's done beautifully. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. <laughs> He's got artistry on his face. Artists. You have six hours to tattoo an image out of anything but what it is actually made of. And your time starts now. Let's do this. Today we're testing ingenuity by having these artists design something that is gonna play a trick on the eye. It'll be an image of an object, but the object is made out of other images. Figuring out how to make this out of birds was kind of a nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that, it's a challenge. You know, that's what we do here. The worst thing the artist could do with these tattoos is create a mess to where we don't know what the actual shape is supposed to be. That's dead smack in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's perfect, yeah. This challenge can be a compositional nightmare if you do not have good drawing skills. Are you excited for me to win Tattoo of the Day with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very excited. Team Christian gave me the tree of life made of snakes. I'm super confident. I love doing snakes. You know, bright color. Are you okay? Do you yeah. want to move or something? No, I'm fine. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm okay. just trying not to is that your mess line? up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. My canvas will not sit still. Time is ticking away. Are you okay? Okay. Get sharp. I have to literally get rid of half of the tree and all the little details that I wanted to put in the snakes to actually make them look like snakes. Your tongues are <laughs> jacked. This one's at the top. Don't move. Whatever you do, don't move. This cannot be the reason why I go home. Don't move. Do not move. Today, you had to push the limits and tattoo objects composed out of anything but what they're actually made of. Tiara. Hi, Tiara. Hello. I don't like this one. Me neither. It was supposed to be a lot bigger, but... Because the tree of life is... Big. Usually, a, yeah, it's Yeah, pretty, but I had to get rid of yeah. some of it. My canvas just couldn't get comfortable. The composition of this thing's rough. The shape of the snake heads are all really rough. 
A lot of line work problems throughout this whole tattoo. No tree here. All I see is a very awkward strand of snakes. For me, this one's a complete miss. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I would just like to say that my tattoo is still better than the other tattoos. I'd just like to know your thought process. Where in your design can you show me the tree of life? She wanted one that was kind of twisted. You can't tell me the trunk doesn't look like a cartoony illustrated trunk. This does not look like a tree. I feel like the snakes have an artistic approach to it, even if you don't want to call it a tree. I got dealt a pretty canvas. I have the ability to do great tattoos. When I'm looking at JP's tattoo, that's an elephant made out of butterfly parts. Oba composed the face, regardless what the face looks like. If we go over to Tiara's, the overall ask of the day is not there. So I need a final decision, guys. Definitely Tiara. Just based on the challenge, my vote is for Tiara. The judges have decided, Tiara, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I don't agree with you guys. I think TR is definitely a better tattooer than both of those guys put together. You rock, kid. Thanks. Please pack your machines and close shop. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. This week, we're testing proportion. Proportion is the size of objects in relation to other objects in a tattoo. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's gonna judge you is Taki, and he's gonna nail the out of you. Japanese tattoos are infamous for incorporating many different elements to create a dynamic image. In order for the elements to work together, they must be in perfect proportion. There is one more obstacle you must face today. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Ribs? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. The ribs is one of the most painful areas. With snakes, it's going to be hard to make those long, sweeping lines. In this elimination tattoo, proportion is important because we're asking them to tattoo a snake, which is recognizable imagery to everybody, and we're asking them to do it in a Japanese style. We're asking them to incorporate something with the snake to really show it in proportion. Pretty cool? Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful tattoo. I love it. My only concern is, you know, obviously, just sitting through it. If you get dizzy, or if you're feeling like cold sweats, or you're feeling nauseous or something like that, then we'll, then we'll pump the brakes a little bit. I am really worried that my canvas is gonna tap out. But you know if I'm in pain, I'll take a break. You don't wanna take a break, because when you come back, it'll hurt 10 times more. <laughs> I'm gonna take one break, a couple of breaks. You don't wanna take a couple breaks. Once you break once or twice, you're tapping out. I'm stressing the f out right now. You got your job to do, and I got my job to do. Now it's just up to me to execute that, and it's up to you to sit through it. Definitely gonna need a cigarette. No. Nope. Until you take a break, it slows down and you come back and you can't take the pain then, trust me. My canvas is having a really hard time and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. Mm. I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't wanna let you go and then I gotta drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for hundred grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. I can't move in the middle of the line sorry, like that, sorry, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Be still. <laughs> Not yet. My body's starting to shake. You signed up for it. I did it! I did yeah, it! Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Job. This doesn't look like a tattoo that Scott would do. It's ugly. It feels good to know that I'm the first person to knock Scott Marshall off his throne. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake 
on your canvas's ribs. Scott. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, you totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it. But when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's going to come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting. It's utterly incorrect. She was a tough canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's gonna show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm gonna stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. Scott. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I did what I could, man. I had to compromise a lot of design with her, basically just how she sat and everything. You have a very unique style that's your own that you incorporate into everything. This tattoo, you abandon that. You just kind of got lost in your own design. It has its problems. This would be like my first hiccup since I've been here. I'd like you guys to take that into consideration before you make your decision. Aesthetically, it's definitely the bottom. OK, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. Let's do it. Yep, let's go. Something for the Sphinx, I think, on the side. The ribs are definitely a tough spot. Anytime we put it on the side, it's going to elongate even more. Uh -huh. That piece becomes like that. I'm trying to convince my canvas to get it away from his ribs. I want it on my side. I just hope he's able to sit. I'll lay like a rock. I won't move at all. <laughs> Otherwise, there's a good chance of me going home. You're tougher than me, bro, because I wouldn't even attempt it. I've had to fight for every single inch of tattoo that I've put in. He's either moving, shaking, cringing, and it's horrible. I try to warn you, it's going to be a rough area. It's not even about the time. I don't think I'm going to be able to even touch his skin anymore with this needle. I think we would have been done if it was on, like, on another part of the body. Today, you had to create intricately detailed Egyptian tattoos, MV. Well, I am glad you followed Marissa because otherwise I'm not exactly sure if I would know what this is. A sphinx, by definition, is a lion with a human head, sometimes depicted with wings. I just don't think it looks like a sphinx to me. That body looks more like a seal or a sea lion or a walrus. It doesn't look like a lion. In a detail challenge, you have no deliberate detail throughout this tattoo. If you didn't nail this, which I don't think you did, you put yourself in a situation that's tough. Today, you had to take ancient images and translate them to skin, MV. The biggest problem with this one is if it wasn't for the Sphinx head, I wouldn't know what it was. What's a Sphinx? A Sphinx is the lion's body. If you just look at the backside of that body and the belly and the hind leg. I wanted to put more into that. I fought to get that much into it. You put too much as it is. It does not look good. Oh, my god. MV, you OK? What's up? What's going on? Detail's what I do. I'm not gonna go out on a detail challenge. I know what I'm doing. Give me another chance to see what's up. The details that you put in this Tattoo Envy make it not look like what it's supposed to look like. So therefore, I think that's the fail. If I don't know what I'm looking at from 10 feet away, I think it'd have to be Envy. All right. Envy. The judges have decided, MV, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Man, it's not how you get knocked down, it's how fast you get up. And you should be standing, you should be proud. Today, it was just a tough choice that you gave yourself to convey what it was that the subject matter should have been. You'll have six hours to tattoo a Japanese dragon with water. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I love Japanese tattooing. It's what I put my time and my career into. You wanted a full dragon? Or... You just got to show me what it looks like, what okay. it'll look like. Yeah. There's so many tricks to these. And if you don't know it, it's almost impossible to replicate it. I'm hoping about a lot of things, but it ain't coming off the ribs. OK. I had lap band surgery. You had lap band surgery? I had it done. I lost every 200 pounds. Can I take a look at your ribs? Yeah, sure. Holy crap. A lot of loose skin. 
the swelling of the skin is gonna be immediate. When people lose a lot of weight, their skin becomes very rubbery. It's like thin paper. You can blow a line just by whispering. The biggest thing that I have going against me is your skin. Of course you gotta overcome and adapt. Because the skin is bad, as you thought it was. Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. Here, right? Burns so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat, and they're trying to take me out. So I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? Starting to get a little rough. It wasn't for the burn. I'd be straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure Sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid, because he's going to get spanked today. Let's take this last stab at it, OK? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got nothing left. I'm screwed. That's amazing. Thank you, man. The dragon is absolutely awful. There is not one redeeming quality about this tattoo. Sausage is going home, and I'm the boot that kicked him out the door. Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. It makes it overall messy. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. Today, you were judged on legibility, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's now time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Oh, son of a bitch. Sausage, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Ron, why did the human canvas jury vote sausage to the bottom? They said it was too dark, and that was it. I'm sorry, Ron. This is not where I expected to see no, you no, at you all. You gotta be sorry about nothing. I was a bad canvas. He took some breaks, and we did the best we could. I don't see this being a bad tattoo at all. I don't care what anyone says. I appreciate everything you've done for me. OK, Ron, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you guys. Sausage, this thing just didn't come across. You have a nice standout head if you look at just the drawing, but you didn't do the right things in the shading of this tattoo to accentuate that. I definitely have some shading issues. He was getting sensitive, but my technique is flawless. When I see black tucked into whiskers like that, my immediate response is somebody was trying to cover up a mistake. The scales are done well, the, the face is done well. It's not like I'm gonna go back upstairs and the bed. I'm gonna come back out swinging for the fences again. If Sausage's tattoo walked into my shop, I would question whether that person knows how to tattoo. But I do feel that mine was more legible. I don't. Judges, it's time to decide who is going to be packing their machines. Are we talking between Megan Jean and Sausage yeah. right now? Both have problems with legibility. As far as the Japanese dragon goes, Megan, your execution's cleaner, but yours is really camouflaged. Sausage, I commend you for the application and for everything that went in, but the anatomy fails you. Final decision. When I look at Megan Jean's tattoo, it appears cleaner to me. My vote is for Sausage. Chris. Megan Jean. Damn. The judges have decided. Megan Jean, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Okay. Today, you must tattoo a peacock. <gasps> With so many colors and textures to capture, precision is essential, or your peacock will go from bold to blur. Peacocks are so challenging. There's thousands of feathers, a million little lines, multiple layers of texture. You can easily screw up. I'm going to start looking up some reference really quick, okay. and we're going to get an idea of what you like um, color-wise, style-wise, okay. design-wise. The colors that I want, I want to kind of be like, like a phoenix colors, like oranges and like burnt, you know, burnt oranges and reds and purples and stuff like that. I am a black and gray artist. Precision in color is not one of my strong points. 
We don't want it to look too close to a phoenix. But I do want the colors, the oranges and the reds and You the want purples. like burnt colors? Yes, yes. Got it. So you want it starting on the top of your ribs and kind of going down your hip and then a little bit fanning onto the butt. Onto the butt, like the tail going onto the butt and right, then to so the front kinda, of the thigh. So in the time frame that we have, if we start higher up on your ribs, mm -hmm. you're only gonna get down to here. The only thing I really care about is the location and the size and then like the color scheme as well as the realism of the head. What she's asking for is legitimately like a 30 hour tattoo. I wanted it to kind of go like here and the head go down the body to about here and then the tail go like that. I'm screwed. So the way it's gonna sit on your body is kind of like this. That sound good? Yep. I have a canvas nightmare. She wants a full-bodied peacock that goes from her ribs down to her knee and unwilling to budge. If I make it through this, I'm gonna make Dave eat that skull pick. Let me know if I just gotta cover my cooch a little. Okay. Oh. I'm definitely gonna run out of time, so I have to shorten it a little bit. There's no time to finish the tail. So I wipe off 50% of my stencil, freehand some on, and start over. Plan B, I'd rather simplify something last minute than try to rush and half-ass. Dave gave the only two rib to knee tattoos to the only two girls on the team. I don't know if it's because we're strong players or if it's just because we're girls. You know, it's hard, just breathe through it. I only have like two or three more back here. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Just lay there, okay? Okay. Hey, really dig it. It's not my fault that Gia wasn't able to scale down her tattoo. It's not my fault that Ryan put a lot of detail in hers. What do you think? So pretty. Yay. Oh my gosh, I love it. I gave them difficult canvases because I thought they could handle it. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a peacock. Ryan. This tattoo, for me, is a big time bummer. Any area that you zoom in on this tattoo, you find problems. There's areas where your color goes out of the line. There's areas where things just aren't solid and smooth and clean. Today being a precision challenge, this is the worst day for you to do this kind of stuff. It was just a horrible case of very poor time management. You being one of the top dogs on your team to doing this, big decline. Gia. Canvas wanted a massive tattoo. I had a nightmare from the beginning to the end. <laughs> this thing is rough. It is big, but there's certain areas that in a precision challenge is hurting you so bad. Where did you start? I started with the head. That would be the area with the least amount of mistakes because it's where you started. But there's blue completely outside the lines on the bottom of the chin, on the neck. This entire thing is debatably the worst tattoo of the day. I cannot imagine having this canvas. It's a client. You want to pay your rent, you tattoo that canvas, period. That's how we live. It sucks to get a bad one. I get it. But just starting. If there's not that first good pull, that pull was never coming. I know she's on the opposite team, but I have to say, the drawing is more aesthetically pleasing than a lot of other people that did not get reamed as hard. It all evens out in the wash. The one that debatably had the nicest composition had debatably the worst possible technical flaws in it. You'll have six hours to tattoo a detailed natural disaster. And if your work is a disaster, your shop will be out. Good luck. Today, we're testing these artists on detail. Tom. What's going on? Jesse, nice to meet you. Whether it be a tidal wave, an earthquake, explosions, you have to show movement. What you looking at? A hurricane crashing against the shore. Could be dust, fire, wind, water, some type of force that's going to demolish something. A forest fire? Yes. If you're a tattooer that doesn't have a versatile bag of tricks, it's going to be very difficult to pull off a natural disaster. Volcano, huh? Big as you can get, yeah. Are you open to moving there, or are you pretty sad? No, I'm, I'm with the ribs. Sad. Can you just take off your shirt for us? I'm nervous about him sitting for six hours on his ribs. He wants it big, he wants it bold. It's a lot of saturation. Did you see Carlos in there? Yeah. It's massive. It's what they do all day, though, every day. Like Anchor is a world-class shop, and it is known the world over for having really great realism artists. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna have to jam on it. <sighs> I'm confused at this point that I am even in an alliance in this competition. 
I think they gave us a harder one maybe to try and knock us down a little bit. I'm biting my lip off right now. Honestly, I feel like we could really shine. I just hope that time is on our side. It's too big, dude. It looks smaller when you put the stencil on, but then you forget about all the color around the outside. Today, every detail counts. Black anchor. The perimeter shape is just an obtrusive big smear on the side of his body. You gotta leave some open skin. It's like everywhere you look in this tattoo is a cover up. The only contrast you have is from the areas of solid color to the areas of light color you did. As far as details go, there's no detail. This is one of the rougher tattoos I've seen here. Today, you tattooed scenes depicting natural disasters. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Think Before You Ink to the bottom? One we could tell was a volcano when you look at it, and this, you can't really decipher what it is right off the bat. Today is a crazy day. You guys say the worst tattoo is not Black Anchor. As far as details, we were trying to compare the problems in each tattoo, and so we felt like- So you think the details in Think Before You Ink are not as detailed as that volcano? I mean, look at the Ferris wheel. It was a yes and no question, Chan. I feel like ours is a little bit more recognizable. Yeah, I didn't have any detail in that tattoo. It's a little bit more dynamic than yours. Dynamic. It wasn't dynamic day. It was detailed day. Black anchor. This is a large, unappealing spot on this guy's body. Detail could easily be added to that. Back at the shop, we do multiple settings, and I know that's not this the case back this at time. the shop. We're judging on today, and today it's just this blocked out mass with no detail on detailed day. But if we did get another shot, pick ourselves out of this slump, you know, this is their, their third, third time. time. And you guys keep throwing that around, like, so what if we've been down here before? At the end of the day, we're looking at it now, like they said. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest. I think Black Anchor did the worst tattoo of the day. My vote's for Black Anchor. The judges have decided, Black Anchor, you do not have what it takes to be master shop. It's a bummer, man. If I was picking teams, I would've had you guys first pick, but on any day, worst tattoo goes. Doesn't matter what you've done. Please pack your machines and move out. You have six hours to show creativity tattooing a difficult part of the body. And your time starts now. All right, let's go, guys. Let's All get right. it. How do you want to do it? Pocket of the angel. Okay. He has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I needed to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Just keep pushing through. Yeah, man. Get this, man. Yeah, I got it right. Hey, I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurting a little bit. And the drawing sucks. And there's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the oh, out stop. of here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and talk a bunch of shit. And now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going home. It, and it's going to happen. I know it. Tony, we should just pack it up, man. Christian's right. <laughs> <laughs> My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours, but he's squirming like a little bitch. God, damn, damn this. All right, that's, oh, All right. You gotta finish it, man. No, I have the coffee. Ah. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother and I love him and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. 
I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff, the hood, the wing, and the background. Something's got to be lighter or darker. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. You'll have six hours to show composition, tattooing a Japanese temple. Fail to impress the judges, and you'll be sent home. Good luck. <laughs> I hate tattooing ribs, especially after my last canvas, where he almost tapped out and sent my ass home. I love your idea, man. Yeah. I can tattoo the ribs, no problem, but most people can't sit for it. The last dude I had, big tough guy, it almost sent me home, because yeah, he yeah. wouldn't sit still. He kept taking breaks every five minutes. Is there any other way you would um, do anywhere else? I wonder how many canvases are gonna fold today. How many guys are gonna change it from a rib, or they're gonna change the style? Don't listen to them. Test your oh, artists. Wow. Do they deserve to make it? It's final eight. How many artists are gonna step up to Don't the listen plate? To that joker. Do what your canvas wants today. Can't do a rib, can't do a chest, can't do a style. Don't deserve to be here. Yeah, we'll see, man. Today, these artists are gonna be tattooing Japanese temples. I mean, I could just continue this as part of the end of this statue. No, that's perfect. These artists are gonna have to really work on composition, constructing the temple in a way where you have a foreground, some background, that coupled with temples, anything can happen. You doing all right? Mm. Team Christian, they didn't just send me a grenade, they dropped a nuke on me. Every week they're gunning for me. As soon as I pop my head up from the water to catch a breath, they push my head back down. It's just exhausting having to fight every single day. What's going on with this front over here? It just kind of like has a scratchy line. It just looks unfinished. I hate everything about this tattoo. This thing's crooked as hell. I'm doing what I can to save it, but you know, this thing's Mine was stressful. The ribs is definitely tough, man. The Skin is so thin, dude. There's always gonna be like little hiccups here and there. They might hit you on a couple spots. Hey, Kyle, what do you think about having ribs for dinner? Like them well done? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Today, you're being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese temples. Kyle. You had a tough challenge. The line work definitely gets away from you as far as all the straight lines being parallel in direction. There's pretty much no way to make the bottom of this bridge look straight with the angle of the temple. It just wraps a little bit, and it did get a little bit askewed in the process. It's a tough spot to put a man-made structure. Yeah, exactly. The thing that's throwing your design off the most first, your tattoo is just all shaded in the same way. There's a lot of similar tonality here where you can't really back yourself out of a corner. Today, you are being tested on composition. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Kristen, why did your team vote Kyle to the bottom? We just felt that Kyle's seriously was the worst tattoo of the day, hands down. At first glance, that's a solid tattoo. I think Kyle's looks pretty rad. Definitely looks like a powerful, dramatic tattoo. It was like a powerful earthquake blew up the whole neighborhood. Not only is the pagoda leading, but the bridge is leaning completely the opposite, incorrect way. You would have served yourself a big help putting the stencil on in two parts, placing pagoda, placing your bridge. You didn't need to be pigeonholed to that stencil. The curve and the indents of the rib cage made some lines look a little wobbly. You can't straighten up a crooked structure. It's going to stay, though. Yours is going to fall. No, out. it's going to stay. It'll be light, but it'll stay. I feel like it's between Amanda and Kyle, and I'm really torn because I like the weight of Kyle's tattoo. From a distance, it has a lot of contrast. It's dark. It reads more like a temple to me. And Amanda's, when you really get into the temple, the upper tier of it is just a lot of inconsistencies on lines and shapes and patterns. My vote is for Amanda. They both have line work problems. They both have dimensional errors. But Kyle's definitely stands out as having the most crooked stuff going on. My vote's for Kyle. Kyle, I want to keep you here, man. But this is just the most challenged tattoo of the day. I hate to do it, man, but Kyle. The judges have decided. Kyle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. Later, guys. Today, you must transform your canvas into a warrior by tattooing 
shoulder armor. Shoulder armor is difficult. Gotta do a huge tattoo, cover a whole shoulder piece. This is crazy. But that is not all. You must work in pairs, <gasps> tattooing both of your canvas's shoulders at the same time. I knew it. You'll be paired with someone from your team, and you will be judged together. Tattooing with somebody at the same time is like tattooing in a car going down a bumpy road. This is gonna suck. So the way I paired my team, I wanted to take people that I knew would be able to complement each other. But you wanna go too far down, because then it's not a shoulder thing, you know what I mean? I'm putting my tops together, my mediums together, and my bottoms together. That way, if there's a fight, it's a fair one. Are we going uh, black and gray? Or... I want color, yellow flowers on the armor, like a shoulder cap almost. I just don't know how the flower's gonna transform. I've been to Hungary, and the folk people, they do hand-stamped hand leather. Hand-dyed leather. Dave is a jackass. I'm thinking like a very simple, like, daisy. I can guarantee you that Dave's side is not gonna look like my side. It's up to you to design yours how you want it, and it's to me to design mine how I want it. If I was tattooing this canvas by myself, it would come out a hell of a lot better than tattooing with Dave. We have to figure something out to get her like closer where I'm at. Anything you can do to stabilize yourself more? Nah, because I'm having to reach like too far over. <sighs> Dave is grabbing this canvas and moving her all over the place. And I'm having to adapt to it. Can you bend it this way? Yeah. It's almost impossible for me to tattoo right now. Let him chill for a minute. I'm almost done with all the black shading. Put some color over it and call it a night. Battleship gray will work. That's what I've used for it before. I kind of wanted it a little bit of the steel blue. The one issue we're running into right now is our canvas isn't willing to change the color concept of the metal. I've done metal textures, I've done armor. Never have I had to use blue steel to get my point across. It's a bad idea, man. Awesome. Love it. John Collins and Servan take an interesting approach of doing blue tribal instead of armor. Points for creativity. Thanks, guys. Today, you had to show texture by tattooing shoulder armor in pairs within your team. And this is a double elimination. Dave and Nate. Guys, this is really, really rough. You know, put together a design that I think had the ability to really shine. Once you got into tattoo time, I don't know what happened, man. This application on either one of these tattoos will not float. Dave, yours looks the roughest. The centerpiece that you have in there, it looks haphazard. I know you're going for a dugout look, but it looks messy. I was going for a rough. But why would you go for rough in a place where you gotta be so clean? I heard texture and I automatically went like, it's gotta feel gritty. Wow. You hit gritty. And whatever is going on with this big, weird, not symmetrical flower up top, this thing is nothing short of jacked up. Nate, your shading, it's not helping this design at all. It looks like you were in the back of a four by four. Like oh, this. it felt that way. Overall, both your tattoos are messy. A little bit too much push and pull here went on, and it really hurt y'all. Nate and Dave, the judges have determined that you guys have the worst tattoos of the day. I get it, but I don't think it shows the level that I can tattoo on. John Collins and Servant. Honestly, guys, to me, it doesn't really have an armor feel. These colors that you chose are nowhere near the same palette. I think we poured out the exact same color no. palette, but I just... No debate. These are not the same colors. These things don't look remotely the same. Since these things are mirror images of each other, I think that kills you as a team. All right, John, the outside outline that you have all the way around, there's a lot of inconsistencies, which really gives it the more stone feel than the metal. The metal is gonna be edgy, sharp. This is definitely a rough tattoo. Sivan, John's is messy, but yours seems even messier. Whatever you got going on with this background color, that is not the way to do it. Tell me that solid in any way, shape, or form. I up, man. You made a mess. Look at the difference in the shapes. Look at all the discrepancies everywhere. Bad choices, man. Bad choices. John and Servan, the judges have determined that you have the worst tattoos of the day on Team Nunez. You must face off tattooing head to head against each other. And the artist that loses that battle will be eliminated. The teams are set. It's up to you as a team to decide which artist tattoos which body part. But once the tattoo begins, you can't switch the area you're tattooing. Damn. And this week, there will be no human canvas jury. You'll have six hours to transform your canvas into an animal. 
Good luck. How are you? Nice to meet you. Today, the most difficult part about this challenge is consistency. Our goal is that you leave here with something that looks awesome. It's important that all of these outlines and stencils match up and play well together so that this canvas transforms into one particular pattern throughout. The challenge is to transform her. If these two touched, two pieces together and two pieces together would be better than not. I'm excited about Chris being on the team because he's a Marine and I'm a soldier. We'll work together and let's get a stencil that works for everybody yeah, yeah. so that we can all do the same designs. I don't have my master here with me, so why not let a strong person take the lead? We'll coordinate how we're going to do it. We'll put out the same bottles of ink for everybody. Exactly. I'll show you guys how to do the background tones. We'll start with the brown spots, and then I'll work our way through. I feel good about that. Everybody yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. yeah. For me in this competition, it's go big or go home. I'm swinging for the fences and hitting a home run every time. So our idea is to cover as much canvas skin as possible so that it looks like her body's transforming into the cheetah. See the way I'm keeping that same line up? I'm just trying to be as randomly natural as possible. The idea is just to kind of follow my lead, watch how I do each part of the texture, and they're just going to duplicate what I do. Look them at the top end more than the bottom end. Yeah, exactly. I can see that. Perfect. I think we're all doing about the exact same pattern. That's great. Dave? Yeah, oh, sorry. When you do that, say moving. It's nerve wracking working with three other people at once. I mean, it's a tight little space. Your elbow is actually going to be where my elbow is. Start loading you, worst team player, Dave. Sorry if I keep tensing up a little bit. We're barely even started, and she is starting to complain. No. Holy. <laughs> Hang in there, give me like five minutes, and I'm gonna move to a different spot. Relax. No, I can't do that spot. You have to. Mentally, you gotta get there. She's starting to get fidgety. Relax, relax. relax. Very tense. You gotta just relax. You will make it. It's not a good sign. Hello? I know it hurts. Listen, she's just try and relax. Right? We are so doomed. We still got a lot of work to do. Look up. If she taps out, she could be the ticket home for anybody on this team. No rush to go anywhere. Look at me, look up. You're okay, all right? For her safety, for the safety of everybody here, she can't continue. We tapped her. We all saw that coming. We were so close. It's the last bit of detail that makes the texture. We are royally screwed. I'm really I believe it. Jerome. I'm definitely feeling for Chris right now. He's my teammate. He's who I want to go to the end of this competition with. At this point, I'm going down and discussing our case. Watch the snakehead be the only one that can sit for the tattoo. Oh, my God. Team Cheetah didn't finish her tattoo. Chris walked them into a battle that does not seem like there was any possible way for them to complete this tattoo. Good job getting her through four hours. Chris needs to take some sensitivity training for putting that girl through all that torture. For this elimination tattoo, you had to show texture in teams of four tattooing the same canvas at the same time. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Let's see how you did. Chris, Dave, Big C's, and Katie. Your team's I say that I'm very upset with their critique. I think they got thrown a gold medal for a silver performance. By luck of the draw, they got the easy one. You know, anybody can create a good texture when you have pre-designed bubbles and you just simply color them dark to light fade out with a white highlight on top. Someone would argue that you got the luck of the draw in terms of this cheetah being the easiest identifiable pattern. Yeah, but it wasn't the easiest texture-wise because the only texture in it would be the fur. So we wanted to do it at a size where you could see the texture. We made a team decision to try to group the pieces together to cover a little more area for the part of the challenge that meant transforming the body. The canvas sat pretty well for a little while, and it eventually ended in her having a panic attack. It's enormous. I don't think any of us would have felt good getting that. Was there a team leader in this? I feel like I kind of stepped up as the leader. I know that you have the ability to really get a lot of coverage really quick. The idea that your other three team partners would be able to do the same might have been ambitious, to say the least. If you accept that ability as team leader, you have to set them up for success, not failure. The finished product is what it is. This is what we're judging. Chris, I think you definitely displayed an amazing technique of really capturing that fur and showing us that you understand what it takes to build texture in a tattoo. Chris and Dave, you guys worked together on a piece that blended together. Season, Katie, yours did not really come off. 
seamless. Katie has emotion and sees yours did not. Your spots have a different look. The background yellow, there's a lot of weird patchy areas. As far as judging texture for me, this one falls a little bit flat. Instead of trying to get all the yellow that I can, I should have just stood down at the bottom and try to get all my textures and just took my time with that. You know, as an unfinished tattoo, it's tough to say. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Each of your team's tattoos were lacking in texture. Now, it's up to you to decide which artist on your team was the weakest. Chris, Dave, Big C's and Katie, which artist are you putting up for elimination? As a Marine and master artist, I'd like to represent myself on behalf of this team with honor. Big C's. I didn't meet the challenge. I wasn't able to show texture. I vote for myself. Wow. Katie. To me now. I respect him, and for strategic reasons, if he went down against St. Mark, he could take him out. That's what he wants. I'm supporting what he wants. I'm going to vote Chris. Dave. Don't make me say it. Send me down. I'll take it. Don't do it. Chris. Well, it looks like we have our call. I feel like this shaped up to be one of the most significant early battles we've seen in the history of this competition. I'm pretty sure I could take St. Mark out. Chris, St. Mark, your teammates have put you up for elimination. The two of you must face off, tattooing head to head to determine who will continue in the competition and who will be packing their machines. You will have six hours to work as a team and give your canvas a monumental battle scene. Head to your stations and we'll send in your canvases. Good luck. Let's do, do it. this, guys. I think it's gonna come down to design more yeah, than like a uh, space scene. No. Aliens fighting. No, no space. No. We have to make sure it's doable. Well, I was also thinking like end of the world battle royale where like there's no. meteors coming in. Too and... much. Well, do you want to win or you want to just do something easy? The longer we talk about it, the more we seem to argue. I work on the aliens. Yeah, as soon as you get like a cool sketch, I'll start lining so you can start sketching another part. That one's a good one. Yeah, that's dope. Super like simple. That. Cool. The main protagonist in this would be Dragon and Dude defending himself. If I'm lining this, I don't want anything to be open for interpretation. We need a finished line drawing. Turk is the best artist out of all of us. I just think it's a little too loose. I'm just kind of storyboarding. Okay. This is not the final drawing at all. If the lines are there, I'm going to tattoo them the way they are. That's it. If you do not know how to draw or pick up a loose sketch, then you're just a tattooer, and you are not a tattoo artist. It's not like a refined line drawing. You can draw yourself whenever you want. Please do. If Kyle doesn't get his together, then we're all doomed because his stress is toxic. I think we're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Christian's team, they're going small and black and gray. Like, how adaptable is that? I like it. Beautiful. Come on, we got to get this stencil going. All right, man, here we go. God damn it. Go. Okay. I think our battle scene's gonna work to our advantage. The fact that it's full color and so big, so powerful. Well, I'm gonna start if you are. Okay. We've got a dragon coming in, blowing fire onto a knight. We've got knights on a horse that are charging. This thing is crazy. Who's next? Tony and Jimmy. They're not even gonna be done with lining. Whatever they don't finish, you guys have to. That looks nice though, you guys. You guys getting that rhythm down? It's a trick, right? It is. My team is such a diverse array of artists. It's my job to make sure everybody's reeled in, stays cohesive, and works together. If they can get the whole thing lined in this, then we button this mother up, then we can commit to adding more. Keep it simple, finish the piece, and you're safe. I think that's a better way to do it. Because they're committed to that now. And if somebody can't keep up or can't saturate, they're Four hours remaining. Four more hours. Tim and Jess are slow as this I know. Them the black. Jess and Tim, they're both super slow tattooers. This is no joke. The entire team is up for elimination if we fail right now. Jess, when you get that, when you get that pulled in, we're gonna put you on some silhouette work because I want all this stuff to be super smooth and TJ's gonna move faster. Okay. I'll tell you what, it sucks, boys. You're telling me, man. Four hours remaining. Time to switch artists. There you go. I'll come in off of what Austin puts down, and I'll pull a cast shadow away from it. Okay, when I'm lay it down, man. Too much talking. 
You guys keep acting like uh, they were on a Sunday joyride. How'd you wipe hard? Angel is so rough. Sorry. I'm rushing. That's my thing. Don't rush. Just do it good. Just keep it all consistent. Yeah, don't even worry about shaking up there. Leave that one alone, because we don't want to lose that Of course, I'm worried about Stacy and Austin, man. I mean, they just don't have the same skill level as the rest of us do. Shade that way. Wrong way. What are you talking about? I know that my stuff's going to be solid, but do we know that Austin's is going to be solid? No. Three hours remaining, guys. Switch it up. Let's move, guys. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Come on, Turk. Let's go, Turk. Let's go. Queen, grab one of my liners, plus and put the hoof backwards. Yep, I see it. What? Your hoof was backwards. How? I have had to go back in there and clean that up. That's not a joke. Well, then he put it all wrong. Turk, you're moving his whole thigh back and forth. Turk is huge, and he is whip shading the crap out of this skull. Can I just sit this one out? Is there a bench? Can I just be the water girl? I'm trying. This is hard. I don't want to hear this, guys. Keep working. Jesus. And switch. All right. All right. Can I start putting color in now? Yeah, go for it, dude. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Clock's ticking, man. One hour remaining. Switch artists for the last time. Home stretch, man. Tony. Right in here. Very well? Right by the sword, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, god damn it. This is so nerve wracking. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yes! Boom. Boom, you guys. Good job. God damn. Good job. This looks like one artist did it. Yes. That I take his heart, especially in black and gray. That was absolutely insane. I'm pumped. Today, you had to prove your adaptability and work as a team to tattoo a battle scene. Team clean, you're up. I really love just the fantasy idea of this dragon. Just coming up with a design that we all agreed on, I mean, that's a feat in itself. We have so many different opinions and so many different styles. We got guys that are totally not into this style at all, and they adapted the hell out of it to make it work. I you know the Turk did the skull at the bottom. You can tell and see it. The negative smoke coming out of the eye has a very soft, wispy S. The smoke to the right of it coming off of the broken bone is choppy and kind of all over. But then you get to the little guy above him. He's the next closest thing to see detail. And that guy looks completely out of focus. There's not just a cloak effect. And the pants look like the wall minus the lines of the brick. Everything about that guy isn't keeping up with the guy in the front, so therefore, design looks disjointed. Now you have this dragon. The dragon is massive. It's shaded nice, it's strong, everything's colored. Then you have this little tiny brick house behind it. The dragon is so big, and it's just disappeared behind that tiny little brick house. There's no play back into itself, no kind of ties, no two images tie into each other. It looks like standalone tattoos. For as creative of a team as you guys are, artistically as a unit, I don't think you guys fired well at all. As soon as we found out we're doing a collaborative tattoo, I genuinely thought that we had a greater bridge to gap. I think that four members of Team Christian could all do the same tattoo, and you'd be hard pressed to know who did which one. And I think we all tattoo so vastly different. You don't have four color traditional guys that could all match up pieces? Did any of them do any traditional tattooing up there? I was just trying to say that that's how I felt going into it. I, I didn't need the two cents from Christian. I'm just telling well, you, you how. Well, you, you got it. Don't separate the teams by I'm saying I'm not separating that, anybody's know, team. It's called terminal uniqueness in therapy. I came here as one mother to tattoo. I know it's teams, but I like to do things my way. Being able to break out of that is what we're looking for, which is adaptability. 
I'll say that both teams swung for the fences, and this has got to be a hard challenge. All right, guys, thank you. All right, guys, it is now time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Technically, I think there's a lot of great work in Team Cleans, but overall hitting this challenge, the seam, the consistency, the adaptability looks really strong in Team Christian. There's no debate for me. I'm going with Team Christian. Oh, oh, guys. Good job, guys. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Team Christian. You are all safe from elimination. Another day. That means, Team Clean, one of you is going home. Clean, your team lost the battle today, but you haven't lost the war. To take down your opponent in the final grudge match, you must eliminate the weak to keep the strongest team behind. And as a coach, you know better than anyone who on your team is the weakest. Today, the power is in your hands. Oh. You alone must decide which two artists from your team are the weakest and put them up for elimination. You will have six hours to create a neo-traditional tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. You ready? I'm ready. All right. You got a lot of powers for pain. I would have been crying right now. Because mine's not like, nearly as full as yours, I'm going to do a red background. I was going to do orange. Back up okay. there through here. It's very relieving working with Jim, just because he's such a veteran. My biggest concern is all the rules that apply to traditional. I guarantee you I'm not going to hit any of them. How'd that go? <laughs> Good. Everyone else is tattooing while I'm over here playing with this guy. I'm like a little concerned. Like, we're, it's like half an hour. We haven't even started. Are we gonna be all right? Don't worry about it, man. Dude, chill out, man. Put your head in that pillow. Buck's pissed. I'm pissed. This kid is breaking my balls. You need to handle some of these canvases with baby gloves. You don't tell a customer to shut up. You just lost the battle right there, dude. I'm so good. having to work in each other's workspace. It is a huge pain in the ass. I put my liner in, Lydia pulls the skin, and pulls all the skin away from me. Oh, that's exactly what I just went through a second ago. We're gonna have to figure something out here. What the f are you doing? Get out of my way. Four hours remaining. <sighs> I'm gonna pass out, bro. Don't, don't, don't say that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like not even joking though. Yeah, I'm seeing the colors. Medic, medic. This is really bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Feeling dizzy or anything like that? Yeah. I've accomplished nothing with this tattoo. My outline's not even finished. So sit first before you stand, okay? Because this kid can't handle the pain, I can't do my damn job. Keith and King Rock are tattooing way too rough. My guess is they were just shredding the out of his legs. That's what's causing this guy to tap out. Okay, you know, he's doing great. If that's the case, one or both of these guys are going home today. Two hours remain, everyone. All right, buddy. Come on back up. All right. Let's try this again. Hey, man, you all right? Buddy, buddy. You all right, dude? You're just trying to shake a lot here, bro. The shakes that I'm having right now are super uncontrollable, you know what I mean? Time is not on my side, and this situation is only getting worse. Like, I'm trying to control it? You might be sending me home. You a sucker, man. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Can you show me the bathrooms? OK, come on, man. You OK? You all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Passed out. Can you get James here, please? Immediately. Damn it. Straight at me. Go ahead, come okay, Stop talking. And just look straight at me. This is the worst possible scenario. This kid's tapping out. I'm finished. Yo, Rock. Humble would have went. Psh. He just passed out yeah. out there. Just tell me if you want to fall over. Say it loud, okay? He's not going to come back at all. He's done, done. Nah, he's done. I'm going home. Nah, I don't know about that. What about tattooing yourself? 
One hour to go, everyone. One hour remaining. I'm not going home off of a chump tapping out. I don't get down like that. What the f man? I guess Rug got a tattoo himself. You know what? I'm not scared to tattoo myself. Let's get it cracking. I'm gonna tattoo a traditional style rose. I just need to show the judges I can saturate some black and I can show contrast. It's real right now. The fact that Ruck is willing to tattoo himself shows that he still wants to compete. Keith doesn't want to compete. Keith wants to cry. He's a bitch. Pack his bags and let him go home. Once again, I find myself in the middle of the road, and I feel like I should just build a house here. It's not where I want to be. I'm trying to get some complimenting colors in there, but they like to beat me up about that so. Halo's been in the top, and I hope working with him will help bring me there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, machine's down. No more ink. I just do a rub. Okay. Tattoo the rose. Can I see it? Yeah. I know that I could still be going home, but I also know that I did everything that I could do to stay in this competition. I'm here to compete. Good for you, man. Good for you. Today, you had to use contrast to make a neo-traditional lady or gentleman that pops. Jim and Bubba. You did the grandmother, right. you did the grandfather. So this gentleman is actually not Asian, as it turns out. No, he's not? No, he's not. Bubba, when you did this drawing, did you not notice the differences in the shapes of the eyes? No. How? They're offset, one's larger than the other. It's time to get back to the drawing board, literally. Jim? The first thing that hits me right away is the eyebrows. The one eyebrow is really big and black, and the other one's very small. There's a lot of black in that neck, and then there's not really any solid black in the face at all. Lydia and Gentle Jay. Did you guys work up to a center line? The flower we split right down the middle. I can almost see that line. Let's move on to Jay. The black delight to use in that jacket to make those subtle creases, that's a very good use of contrast. Very subtle, very realistic. That is a nice tattoo. Lydia. Putting the shading in the tiny tattoos was a mistake. It really muddied up the way they look. There really isn't a lot of contrast in the tattoo as far as dark shading and color goes. And what is going on with that purple behind the flower? He wanted purple. I don't give a you guys work your ass off to lay out some of the cooler layouts of the day, and then you do this bubblegum bullshit in the middle. That's terrible. Kyle and Halo. This is a contrast challenge, and you used a very muted color palette. Your client has olive skin. Purples and blues and olive skin are no-nos. You can't pick your color palette off your page. You got to pick it off your client. Let's start with Kyle. This tattoo is very strange. You gave her this enormous forehead and this really long neck just has this whole top of your design floating. She looks like she's wearing a hair piece with an animal on it. Let's move on to Halo's tattoo. If you had heavy black around those eyes, it really would have made that face pop. When you just do gray to light green to skin, you don't have the contrast that you easily could have had. King Ruck and Keith. Tell me what happened. It was a bad canvas from the beginning. But you turned in outlines. Yes. And King Ruck, you've also tattooed yourself. I still wanted to show you guys that I still want to compete. Well, we appreciate that. So let's start with you, King. You have a lot of really rough outlines here. As we start hitting him with the lines, he would freak out, he would jump, he would move around. If that leg's moving, push on him, man. Hold it down. You have this huge oval line that's going around the side that really shows a lot of imperfections. All right, King, let's take a look at the tattoo you did on yourself. It's a very small, very simple tattoo, but you do show contrast. And really, it's probably the cleanest tattoo you've done since you've been here. Thank you. Let's move on to Keith. This is a tough call. You gave us very little to look at. The most that I have to judge on is what area you colored solid black. This area is very rough, and it's just not there. Yeah, it's not there because I wasn't able to 
really go into and do. I mean, it's, it's easier for you to say up here, like, yeah, you know, you're gonna go. It's not dude, easy it's, for it's, us to do anything. Yeah, dude, yeah, but you know what it is, though, man? Cause, like, I'm not even halfway done the goddamn thing, so, like, how can you judge something that you can't see? You're not seeing anything. It's up. Listen, man, you're crazy on edge. You're just stewing and mad, and you're not confident in you. If you can't be confident in you, then how can we? Today, you had to tattoo one of the most popular styles of tattooing, neo-traditional. Keith, you're here because Sausage put you up for elimination. Sausage, why Keith? It's nothing against you, but ultimately, there's people here that are hungry to stay here. Ruck tattooed himself. I definitely have what it takes to be here, and every time you guys judge me, I'm judging myself. I'm punching myself in the throat. Keith, you're also here because the human canvases determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. It's f***ed up, man. It's been one thing after the other. It's been like, like a domino effect. And like the dominoes has been falling over and over and over again. And it's just so hard for me to focus. King, you're here because the judges felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. You have a lot of really rough outlines here. I don't want to make excuses, but I still wanted to compete. I still wanted to show the essentials of the challenge. Bubba? The judges also felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. These drawings are from the start, not good. I don't know what the I was thinking doing this thing. You never come out swinging and you're having a really rough time. Keith, King, and Bubba, any one of you could justifiably be eliminated. The judges have decided. Keith. What it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to tattoo four horsemen of the apocalypse. Good luck. I'm April. Nice to meet you, nice Bobby. You. you don't want to tattoo? Uh, I'm definitely letting him tattoo yeah. this. Is it Aaron or is it clean? clean? So, I'll tattoo. <laughs> Why don't laugh, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> I feel like it is a more masculine subject matter. Do you feel comfortable with that? Yeah. Eva, are you tattooing? Eulis is going to do this. Are you doing the tattooing, Tommy? Yeah, I'm going to do the tattoo. I love tattooing this, like getting to illustrate but It is a smart play to let Erin tattoo. She's more experienced and can do things faster. We have to make sure our stuff looks cohesive. We can't fail on that, because then we just fail the challenge. Some people should take the reins on drawing certain things. So there's a little bit of everybody, and it's consistent. I can draw all the horses. And then I can draw all the clothes and reapers. Black and gray are colored. What if we did, like, a mixture of black and gray with colored backgrounds? Or even just flames. Black, you know? I think just straight color or straight black and gray, and I would rather do color what than What if we did the foreground color background black and gray? I just think color would be nicer. Nicer, or are you as capable of doing it? Basilica, Golden Skull, and Old Town have huge egos. I think we can all like just separate and start looking for our own references and start sketching things out. It seems to just be complete, absolute anarchy. These artists need to show adaptability by for them tattooing one canvas at the same time. I think we're good. It's a little bit far apart. They have to be in constant communication. Do that in black. You wanna do it black? I, I, want, I want everyone's opinion on that. You're trying to pull a line, and your partner's pulling a line, and you guys are pulling opposite. Anything could go wrong. You see how he likes it two at a time. You almost ready, kid? Yep. Can we start uh, getting him up? Eulis says it's done so ready. I'm super happy to be on the team with these guys, because they are awesome artists. So what are you saying, like this? Perfect. Because all the pieces are supposed to look like the same artist did them, I imagine their egos on that other team is going to get in the way. Fade this down, heavy black. Well, Cut. they just told me not to put any black in it. No, you're gonna have a black cloak. I definitely don't feel like I'm part of a team today. It's a Grim Reaper, man. Yeah, but it's not, though. Because if it was, I would just be coloring it in black. Yeah, I mean, it pretty much is, ain't it? Six people coming over to me every couple minutes and making sure that I'm tattooing the way they want me to, it's just chaos. So you're just gonna shade the horse underneath the cloak? like yeah. it's Like it's a ghost. You guys are all saying different things. I'm getting really confused. We're saying the same thing. Three hours, guys. What color is a cloak? Like a shadow from the cloak. OK, so you're going to do what? Baby blues or grays? Well, I got a black horse, but my whole outfit and, it, and the dude is like a greenish gray. DJ's color palette is just so bland. 
No, of course, it seems like it's got broken legs. And then April's so cute and little, she's trying to do a cute little pony tattoo. I'm definitely gonna go at my own pace and let these guys screw themselves. Okay, so how's he looking? You know what? Aaron does this cool thing. I like just color that all in like the mid-tone, just right off that rain right there. Mm -hmm, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Are you giving away all my tricks? <laughs> right now, the only issue that this team is having is Aaron can tattoo better than everyone else in this room combined. Glad to see you guys are carrying Aaron through this. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll learn what I'm doing. Yeah, just try and keep up, girl. Just try and keep up. Part of adaptability is that the strongest player is going to have to reel it in a little bit so that their pieces can match. Aaron has taken so much of a lead on this that the other competitors on that team aren't going to be able to keep up. Final hour, kids. One more hour. I like these two together. Yeah, I do too. They play well off each other. I feel pretty confident in our team. Each one looks a little bit different, but I think that's character. The four horsemen of the apocalypse aren't quadruplets. They should all look different. These things are metal as Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Oh my god, you made that's it. That's great. Dude. That was awesome. Yeah. It literally looks like the same tattooer did all of these tattoos. I really never thought I'd have tattoos like this. Cool. Man. I don't know if the other team thinks that outshining other people on their team is the way to win, but it's definitely not. They may have made good tattoos, but they didn't meet the challenge. I'm in awe, guys. Like, I, I, I don't even know what to say. So high five for the team? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. We won, hands down. Today, you had to prove your adaptability by tattooing with other shops. The four shops tattooing on one canvas will be judged as a team. Empire State Studio, Allegory Arts, Black Cobra Tattoos, and Unkindness Art, let's start with you. What was the plan of attack in terms of making these things all look like they were done by one artist? Everybody picked their strong suit and helped each other while we were drawing them. And we had the same color palettes laid out. You all had an artistic hand in each other's and designs. In each other's design. Very cool. Let's start with Tommy. The drawing of the horse is a lot more complex and a lot more detailed than the drawing of the guy. Definitely has this little poseable action figure type feel to him. That little leg coming over the saddle is really tiny. It just doesn't look powerful enough to keep that big, heavy body on there. So the man himself is a miss. Ulyss, with your tattoo, what it's saying is cool, and I think it fits in well with the other three. But the death character could have been darker, a little bit fiercer, and I think punching more black in this thing to give it some contrast would have made this really stand out. It's a simple take on the horse, but I like the rod and look you went with. I just wish it was a little more dynamic. Matt. This is a very strong, very color-saturated, very contrasting image. I think it looks very definitive. The choice of doing the sword just so straight up, compositionally, throws it off. Aaron. This is an amazing horse. You put all this cool musculature, all the ribs and rips, gives this so much definition and character. All the strength of the horse shows. Everybody else fell short on their riders, but your rider exceeds the dynamics of the horse. Great detail. Great color choices, great contrast. When it comes down to it, Erin killed it, and y'all were trying to catch up with what she was doing. To the whole team, you have a cohesive look from all four tattoos, and they do show a lot of consistency. All your size references and all your characters are the same, and you made choices to end the tattoos similarly. But the ending of the tattoo, not a fan of this bubble cloud thing that you guys did on everything. If you're doing something that has so much fight or anger to it, to put something so happy and cheery looks off. Basilica Tattoo, Golden Skull Tattoo. Old Town Inc. and Artistic Skin Design, you're up next. In terms of adaptability, what was the plan here? We wanted each of us to put like our own artistic flair in it while still looking all cohesive and make sure they all so they look like they're stood same. stood out individually. Yeah, we wanted them to all look a little different in their own way. Let's start up with Nolan. Your horse and your guy play off of each other in the color. The way you shaded the horse, it's very simple, but it has a strong look to it. I like the way that you can see the horse drop into the background of the gray. This background, to me, just looks messy. There's some gray, there's some black, there's some smooth, there's some rough, there's some choppy, there's some negative, and I think your horse dynamics and your musculature actually look a little weird. Front leg looks broken, and parts of the horse look like he's melting. Clean. 
This tattoo obviously is super technically done, saturated perfectly. The red in this tattoo looks like a painting. And one thing I will say for you guys, this kind of background, what I like is that through the negative, the horse keeps playing. It's not just stripe, cut, goodbye. Of the four, it's probably my favorite one. DJ. You show your own artistic style in here. You're showing your own technical abilities in here. Very smooth, very clean, but also very different from everybody else on your team. And what bothers me most about this horse is the face just has this weird, wet weasel look to me, as opposed to this strong horse. It's like a whole different tattoo. Well, for me, it's done really well. The details in the hair of both the character and the horse are very nice. All the outlining really works. I like that it's bold and soft at the same time. Overall, the quality of the tattooing on the team to this point is all pretty on par with itself. April. Your rider looks super tough. And then the skull in there, you shade it nicely. It's soft, it's not overdone, but it's a little bit weird. The whole head of the horse is just fleshless, and then it instantly just turns into a regular horse. Also, the way this tattoo ends is one of the messier ones. Down at the bottom, it just gets pretty hard to see what's going on. All of your horses look different. It doesn't look like y'all had a real exact plan of how your backgrounds are going to work together, and everybody took their own approach on it. We didn't want them to Yeah, like, we wanted artistic. Yeah, we weren't going yeah, like that. Understood, but if these are supposed to go together and look like one artist the did them. Yeah, I think they all go together. If you had four areas of your back tattooed that look like the same artist did it, that's going to weird to us. That's the challenge, though. That's the way every tattoo we've done the whole time we've been here. Well, we could have just made one stencil and just yeah. uh, slapped it on all yeah. of them. Why would it be this time when it's adaptability just to throw that away and do whatever you wanted? So. As far as matching up to everybody else's clouds, you just didn't really do it. The idea is for four artists to adapt to one thing and do something cohesive. And I feel like that's where y'all slipped away. Today, you fought for your shop's honor by tattooing the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's been a very heated debate amongst the judges, and we are not in agreement. Nolan, clean. DJ and April, if you would have paid attention to making these tattoos adaptable to each other. And that's what we did. It is not what you did. The style is totally different. It's not. They don't look like they're drawn the same. They don't look like they're tattooed the same. It looks like four people took their own approach and did their own thing. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so just do some boring like everybody else and then we'll win. The challenge is the challenge. So it comes down to me. I look at Tommy, Eulis, Matt, and Aaron's in terms of contrast and readability. I can see exactly what's going on in every one of these tattoos. And my vote is for Tommy, Eulis, Matt, and Aaron. Yes. yes. <clears throat> the judges have decided, Tommy, Eulis, Matt, and Aaron, you have the best tattoos of the day. Awesome. Good job. Good, Good job. Good job man. Your shops are safe from elimination. That means the silica tattoo Golden Skull Tattoo, Old Town Ink, and Artistic Skin Design, one of your shops will be eliminated. Oh my god. The only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Oh yeah. I'm super grateful to have a chance to come back. I wonder who else is here. Brandis, welcome back. Your artist was Mystical Mike. Yes. Mystical Mike. I could be on the top with my superior knowledge in biology. Would you be interested in doing a G clef with the muscular tissue exposed in the negative space? That's actually really, really cool. I was pissed. The healing process was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt. Oh, wow. He used a liner needle instead of actually using a shading needle for well, pretty he, much the whole tattoo. He only had one. It looks like somebody stole your liner. I only had one machine to work with. That's insane. Once. It finally seemed like it was fully healed. It was blotchy, color was gone. Oh, it really? It was just garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> That's never a good. If you ever came across Mystical Mike again, would you confront him? If I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I probably would punch him in the face. Yeah, my work cut out for me. We don't want our canvases unhappy. So we have an artist standing by in the shop that's willing to work with you. Idea's all yours. She doesn't know Mike's here? You get to look at the design, and if you don't like it, you can walk. I'd love a second chance. We'll head into the shop and meet him. How far can I push the limits? Who will get me to my limit? I'm feeling very nervous right now, but I'm glad that Ink Master's actually give me another tattoo after having to deal with Mystical Mike. Oh, no way. 
Hola. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> do you know how bad I want to punch you in the face right now? Mm, what'd you get? Get yourself an add-on over there? Obviously, Got you're it. the one that commented on my Instagram post saying that it was terrible. It's apocryphal that you should let your body be adorned by someone else without consulting me first. It's disrespectful. It's I disrespectful? Your body completely. I understand yeah, it's your body exactly. completely. Yeah, exactly. It is my body, which means I can do whatever the hell I want with it. That's totally true. You destroyed my arm. It was blotchy. It was scarred. It didn't even heal after a month. Are you freaking kidding you me? You should be more patient when it comes to the creation process of art. Patience? Absolutely. I had to get everything worked over. That's hurtful to me. Like, where's the honesty that we had for you to be like, hey, I'd like to do some extra do you think we could do some I more stuff? I asked you, and you ignored me. I didn't I get the message. I messaged you multiple times. I didn't times. get the message. You I, messaged I wish me I did. back. Guys, Dave, <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going so great. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know this is hard for you. Okay, listen. I do have another solution. There's another artist here who's willing to work with Mike tag team style to make sure that you get the tattoo that you want. And you can still say no. I can't do it with him alone. He'd have to be crazy to think I'd even let him touch me again. All right, buddy, come on in. Oh, oh this guy. <laughs> Jimmy Litwak, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Much better. Much, Much better? better. <laughs> uh. So Jimmy has agreed to work with Mike together to give you the tattoo that you want. I promise you I will do everything in my power to make sure you walk out of here extremely happy. I trust you, just not you yet, but... It's cool, I respect that. I don't need any help. I'm obviously one of the best artists in the world. Are we all good? I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Tag teaming a tattoo with Mike isn't the worst thing I could ever think of, but it definitely ranks right up there. I want something to commemorate my wedding. The theme of it was lovebirds, and my favorite flower is a stargazer lily. Kind of thinking of something like, you know, base the flowers mm -hmm. on the bottom, then maybe the birds behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jimmy in there, but I'd like to get a little bit of me in there. Like something like this, I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing. The detail may not be appreciated visually in the totality of the piece. You're talking English, man, but I don't Sorry. understand what you're I, saying. Like, if you're coming into the doubt, that's not going to give her any confidence. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of doubt from her, and too, it's hard to build myself you, up. You, from you should feel doubt from her. <laughs> this is your redemption. It's all I'm trying to do is make up for my past mistakes right now. Please, just give me that chance. I'm, I'm trying I, to. I, I apologize for not having a better vocabulary or a system of tools to better communicate with you right now. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. It gives me a chance to prove myself from all the inconsistencies and irrational behavior that I had, and just maybe there's a chance for me to redeem myself. What's going on, gentlemen? All right, let's take a look at this design. Mike, do you want to present this to Brandis? Okay, yes, I do. There are the two uh, lovebirds to represent your marriage. And that floating bow on top? That would be the tying of the knot. Wow, it's definitely more than what I was expecting. Kind of a backhanded compliment. Didn't expect anything <laughs> that great, but then again, she likes it. Jimmy, you have something you'd like I to I do. Would you care to see what Jimmy came up with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two similar takes on the same idea. Yeah. Totally different schools. Do you have a favorite? My honest gut feeling is Jimmy's. You can see how that looks like a complete circle versus floating. Do you want to get this tattoo? Not if Mike does the whole thing. Well, this is a tag team design, so Mike will be tattooing you, but you also have Jimmy present and tattooing as well. Half and half. I'm willing to give Mike a chance if Mike goes first and Jimmy follows up and finishes up. I'm very grateful that you're gonna give me an opportunity. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Good luck. I'm gonna make sure it is the best tattoo experience of her life. I'm going to make her eat all those negative words she said about me. Why did you line those leaves? You didn't want a lot of leaves. Is it in the color? Mm, no, it's not. Some of art's biggest mistakes could be some of life's greatest accomplishments. This girl doesn't want to hear the word mistake in her new tattoo. Do you 
feel the uh, there's a difference between me and Jimmy Styles? You were just going really slow. That doesn't mean go faster if you're not comfortable going faster. But... Oh, no, I am. I was making sure it was more and more on, on your level of comfort, so it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a selfish prick, but... I don't know. For a tattoo artist, I feel like you can't be selfish. Oh, no, we are very selfish. What? Tattoo artist back home that I've been working with is not in the least bit selfish. Well, that's why I'm on Ink Master, and he's wherever the he is. <laughs> Stop for a second. Can we just stop for a second? He's stressing me out. I, I really can't have you here anymore. Mike, his biggest problem is he can't communicate. He's combative. If he's learning anything today, I'm hoping he learns how to communicate. We're creating an experiment of beautiful energy and chaos on your arm. And this it's is a... not beautiful energy. This is it, negative. It... I gave you a chance, and then you made a mistake because you didn't follow directions. I'm passionate, and I love what I do, and it's becoming now more insulting to me to sit here and try to convince you otherwise. You and always it's, have something to say. Because I have something valuable, and it's worth it's saying. It's not Because no one has the balls to say it. That's why I say it. People need to hear it. Walk away and just be gone. <clears throat> yep, better keep walking. Unbelievable man. She's not letting me finish my piece, and now I have to come here and redeem myself because she has no respect for me? Oh. You really wouldn't be open for him to doing anything left on this? It's still my arm, you know. What if I left something that's not a Everyone maybe deserves a second chance. Here's your third one. Don't up. Just hold on one sec. I'm thinking. If you would be willing to finish the tattoo and do the sky, then I would be willing to let you do it. This way, we can each have our closure. It's very, it's very generous of you. Finally, you let me come in to finish you off in the last 15 minutes. If it lets her sleep at night by letting me do the sky, I hope she does. All righty, we're all done. We'll take a look. Yep. It's nice to not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Wow. Are you happy with the outcome? Very happy. I love my tattoo. I love everything about it. Let's go, Mike. I definitely don't want to ever see you again, but Jimmy, I would love to get tattooed from you again. The most important thing is that you're, you love your tattoo. That's all I cared about coming back here for. I'm just happy that Brandis is happy and I don't ever have to see her again. I don't need redemption. I'm a great tattoo artist. Thanks, Jimmy, very much. All in all, when I look at this tattoo, I'm happy with it. But there is no way that I would work anything artistically with Mike again. Another happy customer, finally. Brandis redeemed. What do you think about that, huh? Didn't see that coming. Ink Master helped build my name. So now I have a reputation to maintain. If there's a client that didn't like something that I did, I have to make it right. Can't leave people just out of sorts. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What does your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he does. Not, exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know like how open he is to hearing like that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great.
The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more in there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man. I got to show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm, like, torn. Because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover-up of a cover-up. Okay. If there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to come. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers, I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous, though. No, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you. And you nervous? How do you feel I am. about I'm this? I am. I'm still a little nervous because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say it can only go up from here. Yeah. But I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's take a look at this. This the rough colors. I didn't sit down and Sharpie paint everything in, but wow. Tell me how this is going to cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green is going to be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. But a lot of your work that I've seen can be like not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. good luck, Thank Steph. you. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's going to cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't, like, make it fit. Like, no, make sure it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't want to have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But, like, I'm also second-guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you... Nah, I uh, no. I mean, I'm going to look at it. Of course. OK. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. OK. So, OK, so wait. This here, this is just going to be the shape of the shading? Yeah. OK, perfect. Trust me. Very nice. OK. We'll be starting now. What was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now, All right. hop up, take a look. Okay, 
Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover-ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. No. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Sebastian, well home. done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. All right, guys. Take care. Oh, I'm nervous. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back. So your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Or... Yeah, no, I don't think that's gonna work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow, too. This isn't gonna win this challenge. I wanna walk out of here with something that, you know, I'm gonna wanna show off to everybody. I wanna bore you with thousand dollars. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing a hundred grand, I gotta make sure this is something I want. <laughs> What happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his 100 grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised, and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven 100 times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother this is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. You wanna be a dick? I'm sorry, did you apologize for causing me a $100,000 loss? First off, I didn't of a, a loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my $100,000 with you, what there was I no way I was you? gonna do a tattoo that was When they what? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it, that was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. Me. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you, you I compromised with you, and you still you gave me You compromised? You What'd expected $50,000 so that you could get a tattoo you. First off, get the out of my face. I ain't going nowhere, right? this is my you shop. I ain't got to do shit. I'm a goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead, go. Right. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you can learn to swallow that pride. Suck my all right, my day is done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in the situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. Are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother Camilla, good to see you again. Your artist was Julia. Yes. Today, you must tattoo an animal. We got this. It's coming out great. You don't have any areas of soft, smooth gray. You don't give it that realistic look because it's incredibly dark. I know how my gray wash is, and I know how it's going to lighten up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How long what have you been tattooing? Five years. So you have no idea what your heel tattoo is going to look like in 10 or 12 years. I ask for an, a portrait of an elephant, okay. and I end up getting an uncircumcised dick with one ball. And you don't want that? No. <laughs> what don't you like? 
right now how it heals is just it's smoke. It has no strong lines, there's no eye. I voted my tattoo as one of the worst tattoos. You did. The placement is so off because that when you turn your forearm, like I just your have arm a big isn't ear. like this all the time, and when you turn it, there's just a big ear. It only looks right from one point of view. That's the reason why I think she should be in the bottom. She knew what she was doing, she just didn't care. You know, she just wanted to do the challenge and forget about it. You know that I have Julia here in the shop. Do you see look me? Do you see me right now? This Does is, it look this like is I give a I have to Does deal it with. look like I give a Do you want to go have a chat with her? Yes. Head on into the shop. It upsets me because you think about the whole experience and you want to be proud of it, but I don't even talk about it. I just wish it never happened. Just look at it. Clearly, Man, it, it, shows, it you. shows in your tattoo that you don't give a It shows in your face that you're just a douchebag. Hi. So, what's up? Look, I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I post that on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Julia, you're a fake ass bitch. Who are ass. you? Oh, the candy ass. Yeah, the candy ass. Yes, it smelled like diarrhea the whole time. Oh, God. Look for your breath you and your stink ass bull. You had no experience tattooing a dark skinned woman, now did you? Um, no. Actually, and oh, I tattoo shit. dark skinned people a... all day. Right, which is why my tattoo is this looks all this like bunch of attitude? Which is why you can you all kick overwork rocks. my skin and left sores on my rocks. ass. No one else here seems happy That's with the that you've presented them with either. Are you happy? Absolutely not. Were you happy? No, you absolutely not. This Why are you attacking all of us? What, ha what happened to that voice? To what happened to that, oh my god, you know, everything's gonna yeah, be my okay. voice is good till you come and yeah. with me. What happened to that? You guys, hold up, hold up. What's going on? Well, you know, get up tattoos. It's not just one of us. What, three of us here? The fact that I'm here, it's because I think you can do a good job, even though you up the job you did. I would love to And do... I walked in and you were screaming okay, well, at me. Look. Even her little it's squeaky voice changed now. She speaks normal, apparently. I get in mom mode when people piss me off and then I get the mom <laughs> Guys, voice. Let's, let's stay at the issue at hand. Sorry, I don't like seeing people unhappy, but I also don't like being attacked. You know what I mean? At least give me a hello first. We'll work it out. If you confront me with attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back. I came here to make things right. So whoever wants to make it right, I'm down. Let's start over. Julia's saying she's willing to make it right. Who here is willing to work with Julia? Not after she yelled at me for no reason. So you're done? Mm-hmm. 100% done? 100% done. Good luck, guys. All right. My name's Frank McManus. I was on season three of Ink Master. I'm here to prove myself to other tattooers that think I suck just because I'm a young kid in this industry. Execution-wise, with a single needle, keeping it thin and going a little lighter would have went a long way with this tattoo. Frank. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think they made the wrong call. Getting kicked off the show so quickly made me realize that I became too comfortable. So I moved from Pennsylvania to San Francisco to challenge myself to grow as a person and an artist. I want this redemption because it's a second chance to prove who I am and what I can do. I'm ready for this this time. Feels weird to be back. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to make this happen. Fred, welcome back to Ink Master. And you brought your girlfriend, Darlene. Yes. Your artist was Frank McManus. Yes. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass-looking design. What do you think about this baboon thing? You can't even read what it is. I mean, this outline is chaotic. And this is a rough one, man. The detail, this does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's a tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> When he first finished the tattoo, I thought it was okay. After I got home, it just scabbed up, it was horrible. And you yourself said, why did you put the chin where his nipple is? It has a nipple growing out of the baboon's chin. That's not how they look in the wild. No, they don't. The tongue is the worst. I didn't really notice it until it was one of you guys said it. Said, the tongue looks like a nutsack. And that's what he and said. And then I looked at it, I was then. like, wow, it does. It's <laughs> not good at all. Darlene, what do you think of the tattoo? I think that it's ugly now. Did you think it was ugly then? Well, it was vibrant when it first got done, but as it healed, it was unrecognizable. Are you gonna make sure this doesn't happen again? I'm gonna try. All right, Fred, I got Frank McManus in the shop. I want you and Darlene to head in there and let him know what you think. You guys okay. down for that? Yeah. All right, I'm counting on you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Head on in, guys. I'm embarrassed of this tattoo. Nobody ever once said, oh, that looks nice. I just can't wait to see this guy so I can get this off my chest. 
because I can't get this off my chest. Where is he at? There he is right there. I trusted you, man. Tell me what this looks like. Tell me what that is. Does that look like a baboon to you? Still looks Seriously. like a baboon to me. It looks like an alligator with his mouth broken open. This is supposed to be a like masterpiece? A yes. a That's masterpiece? looks like a nutsack, man. This is horrible. I'm not in my own Why? Come on, Frank, why, with the man? bull violin for you. Oh you're, my God. you're a professional, man. You gotta do your job, man. I'm stuck with this forever. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thanks. And I'd love Thanks. to make you both happy. And I know I can do that. I'll let you check out the drawing first. I'll work with you. I don't think so. What do you think? First time, shame on him. Second time, shame on you. That's what I think. I'm telling you, I can make it happen. I doubt it. I don't want you to do this again. The whole thing was a nightmare, Fred. Guys, darling, bring it in. Come here. What can we do to make you happy? Ultimately, Frank is here for redemption. Yes, 100%. We want to make you happy. Be willing to consult with him. Let him draw something. And then if you hate it, you walk out of here. What about that? That can't harm anybody. I Check out your sketches. Want to do that? He's the yeah. ultimate, well, he makes the it. ultimate decision. Actually, I feel that you make the ultimate decision. Am I right? I just get nasty when it's not the decision I want. <laughs> oh, OK, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. We don't commit until the machine goes into the skin. Walk out of here anytime. OK. All right, brother, good luck yeah. to you. Thank you, man. All right. I'll make you happy, I promise. We'll see. What do we want to do this time, man? I got her sign on this arm. I was thinking about getting mine a nice, gnarly Capricorn. OK. It's a goat now. Not around. Oh, right, right. Go, go. You don't want, like, anything around it or no, any... No, no, okay. no, Frank. Don't start getting creative. Flat, easy. Don't get anything really hard. Yeah. I can do hard. I can I'm do hard. I'm scared for you to do hard, Frank. I like that one. You really gonna do it, huh? Maybe. I wanna see what his drawings look like first. Then we'll decide then. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. Dude, thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> Only for the moment, friend. <laughs> you want to trust this guy? I just want to know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. You really like Frank, don't you? I don't want to kill him anymore. I think he might do good. I don't know, Frank. That's why it's called redemption. Let's see if he can redeem himself. I want this one right. I can show it off. Me too. Don't make him nervous. I won't make him nervous, but I will be critical of what's going on. I really want to show people who I really am, what I can really do. But I have an uphill battle here, man. I got to make both of them happy, especially her, because he's listening to her. She's intense. She's real intense. Frank, bring it down, bud. What'd you guys talk about? Getting the Capricorn symbol on my arm. Capricorn's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I want the, the astrological okay. Capricorn. The astrological one has a tail on it. All right, buddy, let's take a look at what you came up with. So yeah, it's uh, the goat body with the fish tail. Is this the astrological one? Mm-hmm, yep. I have a weird looking sign there, friend. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlene? You look skeptical. Uh, I am very skeptical at this point. That tail, that concerns me. Why does that concern you? It's a little too involved, and I'm a little concerned about his ability to detail. She wants a regular goat. Why don't you guys have a chat and talk about it before you make any decision? What do you think? The tail is a little fishy. You like the tail? It's a little mermaid -y, right? Yes, it looks like a, a mermaid with a goat head. I don't like it, period. You don't like it? Yuck. If he makes changes to it, we'll see what happens. We talking about somebody who jacked you up already. You don't have I, to get it. I know, I don't have to get it. You don't want that. Guys, what is happening over there? You guys seem heated in debate. She doesn't like it. I think the tail is too much, Dave. Well, I reacted too. And I was like, that is weird. But that's what they look like. I don't, you know, you can't argue with that. Can he have a twink to his liking? You can make any changes yeah. you want. The tail is a little too mermaidy. Yeah. Ah, it's really standing out. The tail, I keep looking at it. I can do a new tail for you so you can see. It's ultimately whatever you want. Yeah. Big decision. It sounds like a few tweaks and you might be ready to go. This is his choice. Um... So is this a green light? Are we gonna move forward? I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, buddy, good luck. Let's go back to the shop, man. The tail that I wanted, it only has two pieces that just goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use this, but I'll just draw in the two pieces. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. 
It doesn't look bad without the yeah, tail. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, it looks kind of hot without the tail. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm telling you, Fred. It seems like that tail should be, like, right here. So you get an idea of... Yeah. I think it almost has Just to be Just do the body, Frank. We know down you can do more that. And yeah. Because it, it'd be down more and... But please don't get the tail. Don't put them under any added pressure. Just get the body. I want the tail on it. We can buy a tail. It's my arm. And if it's wrong, you're going to be miserable. A Capricorn's a weird animal anyway. So if the tail's going, so what? I'm always right, Fred. Just don't get the tail, I'm telling you. I'm getting the tail. Get the bulk of the tattoo now and wait on Zip it. Let me handle this for a minute. That's why I'm here, to help you handle it. Yeah, it's just, if we keep with the tail, man, it's going to be all out of balance. I'm glad you admitted it now. Don't overdo yeah. your what you can't do, right? Yeah. OK, we'll go with El Capitan over there. Thank you. And the hooves, I want them to pop. Yeah. If I wasn't here, Fred would have came home with that tail. Take a deep breath and push. <laughs> Please don't add any nuts to my Capricorn goat. No balls on the goat. But man, I'm so good at balls. <laughs> I haven't gotten a tattoo since the baboon incident. Just, oh, yeah? It kind of scarred me. I, I really want to make it right, you know what I mean? And really, really show everybody what's up, you yeah. know? You uh, hop up, check that out. Nice, Frank. Yeah, you dig it? Yes, I like it. I love the detail in those horns and the fur and the scales. Love the eyes. Yes. And this little goatee. Did a great job. Thanks for not beating me up. Capricorn. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Most importantly, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? I think that removal of the tail was better to go with. I love how the swirl is, and I love the horns and the goatee. Oh, he redeemed man. himself, man. How does that feel for you, man? It's a huge relief. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's off my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> I got my redemption. He's super happy. She's super happy. Thank God. Take it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. You really have two options. You can tattoo yourself, or you can grab someone in this room and tattoo them. What other canvas do I know better than my own body? Hey, man, I'm taking one for the team, y'all. Mm, let's just do this. Let's show these people what's popping. Woo! This week, we're testing contrast. Contrast in a tattoo is extremely important, because if you have no really deep shadows and no really nice highlights, you really lose a lot of life in your piece. Today, you must tattoo a neo-traditional lady or gentleman. Yes. Neo-traditional is what I do and what I love. It's my passion. Finally, something I know I can destroy. This is my day to shine. These tattoos feature elegant aristocrats with monocles, pipes, pearls, top hats, and bowlers. However, here is the twist. Your canvases want a lady and a gentleman. So you must tattoo as a team, on the same canvas, at the same time. That sucks. Tattooing is not a team sport. It's the worst. That changes everything. Now I just hope I don't get one of the weak artists. You'll be judged separately, but it's up to you and your partner to make sure your designs work together. I think it'd be like cool if you did like a jawbone exposed. No. Here's the deal. Side profile, not portrait style. Throwing a hint of romance. This kid's a know-it-all. No, 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 no has. I'm pissed, I don't like this dude's idea. This is gonna be a show I can tell right from the gate. Instead of like keeping it all inside, like what Wait, are you talking about him or are you talking about me? I'm not sure. I'm feeling very annoyed. If it doesn't come out the way I want it to look, we're gonna have problems. There he is. Keith and I's canvas, it's bad already. What are you thinking? Uh, not into it at all. No? No. I want to punch this dude in his face. He's a sucker, and he's burning me out. What is is the face? You don't like the face? What do you That's not even at all. 
know what I'm saying? What are you talking about, man? This is not you mean these lines right here? It's just like two different frames, that's my concern. I don't want to play with this dude. All these shenanigans, this is not working for me. You just want this to be the same? Yeah, I want them the same. You have six hours to tattoo a lady or a gentleman, and your time starts now. You good with this, too? Yeah. In order to create a great traditional tattoo, you have to have contrast. Contrast in tattooing really makes a tattoo come to life using light and dark. It's something that's going to make that tattoo jump up off the skin. How'd that go? <laughs> good. Everyone else is tattooing while I'm over here playing with this guy. I'm like a little concerned. Like, we're, it's like half an hour. We haven't even started. Are we going to be all right? Don't worry about it, man. Dude, chill out, man. Put your head in that pillow. Buck's pissed. I'm pissed. This kid is breaking my balls. You need to handle some of these canvases with baby gloves. You don't tell a customer to shut up. You just lost the battle right there, dude. I'm so good. I'm going to pass out, bro. Don't, don't, don't say that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like not even joking, though. Yeah, I'm seeing the colors. Medic. Medic. This is really bad. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Feeling dizzy or anything like that? Yeah. I've accomplished nothing with this tattoo. My outline's not even finished. So sit first before you stand, OK? Because this kid can't handle the pain, I can't do my damn job. Keith and King Rock are tattooing way too rough. My guess is they were just shredding the shit out of his legs. That's what's causing this guy to tap out. Yeah, 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 you know, he's doing great. If that's the case, one or both of these guys are going home today. Two hours remain, everyone. All right, buddy. Come on back up. All right. Let's try this again. Hey, man, you all right? Buddy, buddy, you all right, dude? You're trying to shake a lot here, bro. The shakes that I'm having right now are super uncontrollable, you know what I mean? Time is not on my side, and this situation is only getting worse. You might be sending me home. You a sucker, man. I'm going to use the bathroom. Can you show me the bathrooms? OK, come on, man. You OK? You all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Passed out. Can you get James here, please, immediately? Damn it. Look straight at me. Go ahead, come on. Just stop talking. Just look straight at me. This is the worst possible scenario. This kid's tapping out. I'm finished. Yo, Rock. Humble would have went. Psh. He just passed out yeah. out there. Just tell me if you want to fall over. Say it loud, okay? He's not going to come back at all. He's done, done. Nah, he's done. about tattooing yourself. One hour to go, everyone. One hour remaining. I'm not going home off of a chump tapping out. I don't get down like that. What the f man? I guess Rug got to tattoo himself. You know what? I'm not scared to tattoo myself. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to tattoo a traditional style rose. I just need to show the judges I can saturate some black and I can show contrast. It's real right now. The fact that Ruck is willing to tattoo himself shows that he still wants to compete. Keith doesn't want to compete. Keith wants to cry. He's a bitch. Pack his bags and let him go home. That's it, machine's down. No more ink. How'd you do, Ruck? OK. Tattoo the rose. That's it? Yeah. I know that I could still be going home, but I also know that I did everything that I could do to stay in this competition. I'm here to compete. Good for you, man. Good for you. Today, you had to use contrast to make a neo-traditional lady or gentleman that pops. King Ruck and Keith. Tell me what happened. It was a bad canvas from the beginning. But you turned in outlines. Yes. And King Ruck, you've also tattooed yourself. I still wanted to show you guys that I still want to compete. Well, we appreciate that. So let's start with you, King. 
You have a lot of really rough outlines here. As we start hitting him with the lines, he would freak out, he would jump, he would move around. If that leg's moving, push on it, man. Hold it down. You have this huge oval line that's going around the side. It really shows a lot of imperfections. All right, King, let's take a look at the tattoo you did on yourself. It's a very small, very simple tattoo, but you do show contrast. And really, it's probably the cleanest tattoo you've done since you've been here. Thank you. Let's move on to Keith. This is a tough call. You gave us very little to look at. The most that I have to judge on is what area you colored solid black. This area is very rough, and it's just not there. Yeah, it's not there, because I wasn't able to really go into it and do I mean, it's, it's easier for you to say up here, like, yeah, you know, you're a little. Well, this, you're I like mean, flipping. just saying, the black area that you have is not solid. I heard you. Yeah. I, I hear you, bro. Listen, man, you're crazy on edge. You're just stewing and mad, and you're not confident in you. If you can't be confident in you, then how can we? Today, you had to tattoo one of the most popular styles of tattooing, neo-traditional. Keith, you're here because Sausage put you up for elimination. Sausage, why Keith? It's nothing against you, but ultimately, there's people here that are hungry to stay here. Ruck tattooed himself. I definitely have what it takes to be here. And every time you guys judge me, I'm judging myself. I'm punching myself in the throat. Keith, you're also here because the human canvases determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. It's up, man. It's been one thing after the other. It's been like, like a domino effect. And like the dominoes has been falling over and over and over again. And it's just so hard for me to focus. King, you're here because the judges felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. You have a lot of really rough outlines here. I don't want to make excuses, but I still wanted to compete. I still wanted to show the essentials of the challenge. You tattooing yourself, that to me says a lot about what your dedication is to be in this competition. If every line you did was this smooth, all the past tattoos you've done would have been better. The judges have decided. to be Ink Master. Under any circumstance, a professional tattooer should be able to do cleaner lines than this. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing detail. Detail is all the little textures, all the little fine lines and shading that brings a tattoo to life. You must all create a biomechanical tattoo. Having the godfather of biomech judge my tattoos, it puts so much pressure on you. I don't do biomechanical. I'm absolutely terrified right now. This is not gonna be fun. Biomechanical tattoos are free-flowing forms that either grow or come together in a mechanical, organic way. Detail is really important in biomechanical tattoos because it enhances all the little tiny crevices and gives it that pop to make it that much more exciting. I want a metal plate that bolts, like a PCB circuit board. Some of the stuff you want will not work for this challenge. If I give my canvas the tattoo that he wants, I'm going home today. I definitely want the machine screws, you know, like a real robot. That's not considered biomechanical. Sure, when I showed of course you, it is. Any, anything... It's considered mechanical. Right, biomechanical. Biomechanical. Part. I'm not going to risk my livelihood for your stupid tattoo idea that has nothing to do with the challenge. If we do not follow the challenge, it'll send me home. Robots are not biomechanical. What I showed you originally... Are robots mechanical or not? But yes. if you don't meet the challenge... It meets and if the you challenge. Go off, can you let me finish? My canvas is a straight-up ass... We need to have some respect right now. I'm trying to be respectful, but you're not compromising. You're just telling me what I'm to do. I'm willing to move a little bit, but you've got to come and move with me, too. I'm getting so frustrated. You're getting frustrated. This guy is not receptive at all. He's stressing me out so bad. You could do that style some, but... The challenge is this style. So how can I do it some if the challenge is this style? Give me some direction or go. Punch in some. Don't be like, punch in some, uh, uh. My children are depending on me right now, and his things he wants in this tattoo are going to send me home, and I can't let that happen. You need to go so I can get to work. Right, but I want to see what you're... Go.
How you doing? All right, so this is what I've come up with. I got the cables coming around, and then we have the vial part, which is what they're looking for. And if you don't like it, I'm just gonna tattoo it on myself. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. All right, go on. You should, I mean, it's Peace. just nothing. Bye. It's my tattoo, it's on my body, so I want ideas that I had too. I'm trying to work with her, and she's not willing to work with me not one bit. Are you willing to compromise a little bit? No. Because you really didn't put anything that I, I wanted. I put cables of metal in there. You don't, don't worry want, about it. You I don't got want to compromise. Tattoo on myself. I compromised a lot on this. You didn't compromise. And I really me. do a great tattoo. No, you don't. You kept saying all kinds of no stupid. Rod. I'm not putting pistons I didn't want of pistons. I said you... and cables. No, 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 no. I didn't say. I said some metal. Goodbye. Said, like, metal Have a nice life. Go f yourself. I don't want to tattoo myself, but at this point, I have no choice. I'm not going to let some ass be responsible for me going home today. See what you're doing here. Is this the design that the guy didn't want? He didn't want any of the biomechanical in it. He just wanted only mechanical. Okay. So it wouldn't have met the challenge. I know I have to do this for my children. I have everything on the line right now. So what's your take? Did you hear any of that? She was just going off on the guy, you know, so. Would you have bounced that guy? No. I would have gave him exactly what he wanted. Julia is a dumbass. She should have just tattooed her canvas, but I think her art abilities caught up to her and she couldn't provide what he wanted. My tattoo is so awesome. I really showed today that I deserve to be here. What are you thinking, Julia? You sent your canvas home. You told this giant ass dude to F off. Plus, it looks like you did a cover-up on your own leg, girl. You're going home. Hey, guys. Wow. What's up? Wow. What's up, Squeaks? Not much. <laughs> Super tired. I think you could have came up with something to tattoo the guy. I would have drawn exactly what the guy wanted. He just wanted metal and cables. I was listening. He I heard exactly it. what he wanted. But this guy would not budge. No, he I think you were just trying to give him a style that he totally didn't want. No, I was trying to compromise with him the whole time, and he's a disrespectful dick who's unwilling well, to compromise. after he found out that he, you weren't going to give him what he wanted. I did everything I could. I don't know. What do you think? Think she copped out? Oh. If you can say I copped out after just tattooing myself for six hours, I didn't want to tattoo myself. I really did not want to do that. That was the last thing I want to do. Today, all of you went head to head creating biomechanical tattoos. Julia. There were some unusual circumstances with you and your canvas. Before we get into that, let's discuss the work that you have presented for us. This is probably the strongest thing as a judge I've seen you do. It has a lot of contrast, it has a lot of depth. So Julia, now let's talk about what happened in your consult. The guy just kept cutting me off and I was just like, I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to do what you want. And then at one point he shushed me. So I was just like, look, this is the design. And if you don't want to do it, I'm just going to tattoo it on myself at this point. There are two sides to every story. Maybe we should hear from your canvas. But you're not happy to see me. Should I go F off now? Hey, buddy, thanks for joining us. No problem. What is your side of the story? She hated every idea that I had. She said they were all crap. She no, said they're I all didn't so outdated. She just said, I have to do her tattoo or I wasn't getting a tattoo. And I said, Well, can't you just change anything? She's like, I will not change nothing. I was on the, the computer the whole time, just like, Well, let me show you this. Let me show you this. And I was like, Just tell me the components you want then. And, and yeah, but you were super rude about it. You have to always work with that client or starve and not feed your family. Exactly. Okay? Because that is how we make our money, is working with our clients. Everyone that At knows this point, me as an artist knows how I listen, am. Listen, just has... stop. Stop. Don't dig it deeper. Mark, thank you very much, okay, man. Thank Good luck, you. buddy. <laughs> Earl, Chris, Keto, Brian, Duffy, Matt, Miami, Ryan, Marissa, you lost your head-to-head -head competitions. You must now prove that you deserve to be here. Woo. This is your first elimination tattoo. 
This week, you're being judged on overall ability. Overall ability is showing that you have the bones of tattooing, solid lawn work and saturated color, and how to make it look good on the body. To survive the first elimination, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants. Dude. But that is not all. Hey, what? Your canvases are very familiar with this competition because they have all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Let's bring out the canvases. Traditional Pharaoh's horses on my back. What? Slide it on my left ass cheek. What are the odds of me talking to you out of getting it on your ass? Do you have any other open areas that you'd want? Uh, no. You're just covered completely? Yep. OK, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo whatever your canvas wants. If your tattoo is the worst, you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Good luck. How did the last time turn out? Not as it should have. I'm really nervous because I don't have a lot of spaces left and I don't want to burn them. You look at my portfolio, you take a look at some stuff. And the idea you were looking for is traditional, right? Yes, very traditional. If I lose this challenge, I'm blaming Big C's. He taught me. I'm pretty confident about this, man. Here's the problem. Yeah. I hate to do this to you, but the more I thought about it, I got to go. Oh, no. Because on the chance that you can't pull it off, I can't deal with that. Yeah, but it's traditional, though, man. I don't think you can do it. The stuff that I was looking at, there's, like, no hard black in there. That's the key thing. I feel like whooping his ass. Ain't no change in your mind, then. Nah, man. That's bull to the highest level of bull Sorry. This dude just cost me $100,000 just because he's some old sissy. All odds are against me right now. You really have two options. You can tattoo yourself, or you can grab someone in this room and tattoo them. What other canvas do I know better than my own body? Hey, man, I'm taking one for the team, y'all. Mm, let's just do this. Let's show these people what's popping. Woo! Looks like your boys tattooed himself. Yeah. That would suck. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Keto, you're up first. Tell us what happened with your original canvas. Looking at my portfolio, he said he didn't see enough American traditional and he can't risk it. And you were left with an option of tattooing yourself. You did turn in the tattoo and it is very smooth. Clean lines, solid black, smooth shading. Overall, I know for a fact you can do a nice rose. You've convinced me. Now what do you got? 